You've been there and you helped me set up the big rig. <laughs> Seen him, I ain't yeah. forgotten me already. Yeah. <laughs> feel, like this, yeah. feel like this morning, yeah. wasn't it? You're ringing up some hot chick and you end up ringing me. Yeah, I are just about to witness the tossing of the coin out there at the moment and Walunga have won the toss of the coin they're going to the cricket net it'll be up this late or up this early <laughs> Uh, where would it be coming to? Just in daytime, I think, over there, I think. <laughs> you reckon to be up that early to Probably watch not. this? <laughs> anyway, the teams are out there now going through their warm-up, and it's in Counter Bay. We're at Encounter Bay Oval in South Australia in Victor Harbour, and the visitors are Walunga from just down the road, about just 30, 40 miles down the road. Yes. 30, 40 k's, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. down the road. Not far. Yeah, not far. And they're going through a full-blown warm-up out here at the moment. The umpires are out there stretching their legs. And Big Louie is a goal big umpire comeback. today. Been a big comeback. Well, we're longer on the long break, Kev. They, of course, they played on Anzac Day on the uh, Thursday, I think, an eternity go, a couple yeah, of weeks ago now. Nice. So they had a have off the long break. Can of course, in Canada Bay, come to the hiding at Victor Harbour last week. So, Ooh, did they ever? Uh, absolute flogging. I'm, I listened to it, Kev. I'm sorry I wasn't with you, and I was lucky I wasn't with you too because it sounded like a bit of a bit of a meal up in that game. So they found themselves a new full forward, Victor Harbour. Yes, it I don't was need the, the coach anymore. It was the the, the Davy. The Davy. <laughs> the Davy. The show Davy last day. week. Yeah. And come on, umpires, get it underway. We're already late. Oh, no, we're not. We're about a minute away. We're supposed to start at two thirty. And it's about 2.29 here at Encounter Bay in South Australia. Tobe Wollong had a pretty good deal out there with their opponents, their neighbours in McLaren. Of course, on Anzac Day down there, and he just went down in the end by a couple of goals and in the end. So when you look at it, the way, the, uh, the way Encounter Bay are, are travelling up and down, well, this game's got to bring to it. And if Encounter Bay lose this one, they come up against Mount Compass next week, which top of top of the heap on the ladder at the moment. Um, they could be uh, down, looking down the barrel, three or four losses in a row. So uh, they want to bring a big game here today, and Wollonga, well, they're up and about. We've seen the, the best of them uh, only only a week, eight days away now, and uh, yeah, they had it pretty well. And Bass sort of had it on the string. Beathy had a big day up on it. They controlled the footy nicely. Probably the ill scoring in their first quarter probably cost Wollonga on the win, definitely. And if they can get that going right today, um, yeah, they make Mike and Canterbury work a little bit hard for it. So... Both in their huddles, Canter Bay's just breaking up the huddles. Umpires are not in a really real hurry to get the game on the no, way, Kev. They're, not, are they? they're just waiting on the waiting on the boys to turn up when they want to turn up and play. We'll uh, turn up and blow the honker. So yes, yeah, so, I know. Really looking forward to this battle. Of course, other games around the game around the pack pack today. Look, yeah, big one down the, down the road at McLaren. There, Mount Compass taking on McLaren. It's, uh, we'll see what happens there from a bit of payback last year from McLaren knocking Compass out of the finals race. So. That'll be an interesting the game watch on as well. So we'll try and bring you those scores from around the grounds as they come in through the day. Hopefully Big Terry's got his Big Terry's, Big got, Terry's got his clock on. Today. He got the clock working and yeah. the radio on and the phone working. Yeah. What are you ringing into him? Well, let's hope a few people ring into him anyway. Anyway, both <laughs> both these teams don't appear to don't appear to be in too big a hurry out there. There's no excitement uh, about let's get on with it, no, is it? No, that. Uh, well, they've got to play anyway, so you might as well get on with it now. We have an inclusion, exclusion in there. Number two's not playing there for Wollonga, says in Burdett, Marcus Burdett. And Marcus Burdett played here in this game last year and kicked, I think, nine, nine-odd goals. So that's a bit of a 
He had the Good. ball on the string, ball didn't on he? Ball on the like, string. Like he did last week. Anyway, Nifty, they're ready to go. Ready to go. Umpire has the ball aloft. Welcome to all our live streaming fans and the people that are around the grounds listening on 90.1 FM. Umpire flicks the footy high up in the air. Baskets first use of the footy. Bounces on the ground. He's tucked it under the wing and trying to bust out the pack. Umpire says held two. And we'll come back and repeat the ball up process. Boy, they go again. Up oh, Tonkin this time gets the tap down. Tap back. Bass could get the footy again. Gets the hands out. Well intercepted there by, by the skipper. There for Neil. Neil gets it into Carpenter. Carpenter's going down trying to pick it up. Pulled backwards by the jumper. Bumpire's letting it play on. A little bit of pushing and shoving. The Bays have got the footy in. Handball. Long one along the ground. Not good. Canterbury can't pick up the footy. Well, I'm going hard. Umper will come in here and have a ball up. No, oh, we only won't. We'll find a free kick out of all that one at the bottom of the pack, and that's going the way of the first free kick going to a Willy Unger. So Willy Unger going to keep it across the barbecue side, around the club room side, and that wasn't a poor kick. It's gone straight down the throat of the Bay player back out there. Actually, that was looks just about number nine in in Barrett. So Barrett pierces the football in. Oh, too big over the top for whoever he was looking for, and well intercepted there by the defence there in Willy Unger. Looking scoreboard side, they've got no options to go scoreboard side, but they turn it back inside and go through back through to Haskett. Still in defensive 50. He's looking for someone down the ground, but in Canterbury Bay have matched up their players very well. That's been called to play on. No, he's been oh, given 50. Because oh, I think he went to play on, and he should have been called to play on, and now players, Canterbury Bay's gone over the mark. Umpire says, bing, come with me, 50 metres, Mr Haskett. And if the player doesn't get up the 50 metre line, he might get him another one. Haskett plays on quickly, gives it to the run on through the handball. This time, first time into inside 50 for Wollonga. Beathy's underneath the footy, gets the footy back. No, he doesn't. Gives it off to a teammate. Oh, little toe poke around the corner. Sets up Wollonga beautifully. 50 metres out directly in front. And Wollonga will have first shot on goal and first score. That and is Joshua Dawson. Dawson. That's a new one. Don't think he played on... Anzac Day? Dawson, no. I've got their sheet yeah, over there. I can't I'm remember the name. Check anyway. on that one, no. To, to Straight in front, him. anyway. He is. So Dawson, for Wollonga, on his way in. Kicks on its way. Big Louie doesn't have to go anywhere. It's straight over the high little diddle. And the first goal goes to Wollonga on and North Point Flurio scoreboard. It is one straight goal to Wollonga. At North Point Flurio, we're committed to creating memorable experiences for our guests, which is why you'll now find Victor Harbour Toyota, Victor Harbour Mitsubishi and Victor Harbour Hyundai at one convenient location, Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour. Whether you're looking for a new Mitsubishi, new Toyota or new Hyundai or need your vehicle serviced, we're committed to helping make your experience feel a little easier, creating memorable experiences. It's North Point Flurio's way. Visit us at Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour or northpointflurio.com.au. Hey, a umpire shake. throws the ball up high. Here's a chance now for Encounter Bay to pick it up. They do. They get a hand pass towards their back line. Players grabbed hold of. And they're too high, says the umpire. And Encounter Bay will pick up the free kick. Over the scoreboard side, they go with it. And there's a mark taken down there by Encounter Bay through Tyler Bulldock, one of their new players this year. But all the younger player coming through there and Bass had the ball blocked off his boot. And the umpire circles around. And he will come in and toss it up. So it's almost in the centre of the ground. A lot of players around the ball. Up goes the ball again. Coming in with the number eight, Callum Tonkin for Encounter Bay. Down the ground it goes. Here's a chance out here for from Carpenty. Carpenty can't catch the ball though and it goes across the ground and the Haskett will doesn't drop too many of them. So Haskett's got it now, around about centre half back. Got a player out there running for him out there. As can't see his number, I reckon that might be our friend out there, Alex Hopolis. He kicks it across. He finds his teammate out there again. Or oh, they're waxing kicks over that far side. It's a long, long way away from where we are. And that might be Sam Alex Hopolis again. Down it goes into the centre of the ground. Almost a mark taken by Wollonga. They pick the ball up, get a little kick away, and the ball now was. You know, they're, they're still letting play go on out there. There's players laying on the ground, players trying to pull each other out there, and the umpire will come and say, give it to me. It took a while to get himself involved with that one. Up goes the ball, pushed out by Tonkin. Over it goes across there to Wollonga. They've got hold of it this time, and it's gone out there to Cameron Hutchins, and Hutchins gets the ball 
across to his teammate down there and he goes to play on in fact he has played on according to the umpire anyway and he's going backwards with it down there and it comes out and that's Beathy I reckon that's got hold of that yep so Sean Beath has got it for Wollonga puts the ball up high kicks it into the forward line again push each other out down there and Encounter Bay can't pick it up. Well, Unger player picks it up, tries to get a hand pass out. There's a few loose players out there, and off the boot it goes. And I reckon that might it's have been ruck, Bass man. that it picked is. it up. Yep. Quick right foot, and it's gone through for a minor score only. So that's a behind to Wollonga. They've done all the scoring. One goal, one Wollonga. Encounter Bay yet to score. Well, look through their team sheet from Manzac Day Clash, Kev. There's, there's a fair few changes out there for Wollonga, so I don't know if Mitch has ruled the roost because he lost against McLaren or there's been a few injuries, or is he changing a few things around? But well, he there's might. a few changes out there. You wouldn't think he'd have, um, you know, Scotty gone Brown for everything. Is Scotty Scott Brown, Brown out there? He, no, he's not. He's a, he's a missing link on the, on the, my team sheet, so he's going to be a big key from the back line. He played very well on Anzac Day. So with that, and Counter Bay, clear the football. They come out on scoreboard side wing. Ball gets taped down in dispute. Gay Bay gets it. Quick handballs through. Little chip kick over the top. I'm not liking this short chip mm. kick. They've got to get it right. Now they play on quickly through Costello. Costello up in the middle. Bounce the old ball. Gets it back over the one two to He's Marshall. <laughs> Marshall gets it back again. Now Marshall gets a kick away this time. No more handballs from him. Comes in forward. Tyson Neal gets out of He gets the old get away from me. I'm not playing. Haskett's got hold of him and tackled him to the ground. He had prior opportunity, says the umpire. And it is Haskett. A free kick. Holding free the ball. Free kicks already, isn't he? Hold, holding the ball. Yep. Tyson Neal. Haskett loads up the footy, goes to the scoreboard side wing. That's the attack side. Well, I'm going to go up the one hand. It's Billy Cook. Couldn't get it. All over the big way. the ball. There you go. That's the return to Jenny. They're letting that one go. Beathy gets hold of the footy. Laces of the football out down up on the wing. She goes out. to the boundary line and gone. Off hands, was it, Kip? Yep. Full of, pushed across the line. So the boundary umpire will come into play. It's Wollonga 1-1 one, one in Canterbury at the score. Boundary umpire's got all the ball now over the scoreboard side. Comes in, throws it in, nice high throw and giving the Ruckman plenty of chance here, except they were too far back, but that's their problem. Quick hand pass comes out, Counter Bay now got control of the ball. Down the ground they go with it. Tyson Neal leads in the race for the ball, grabs hold of it, breaks the tackle. Gets a hand pass across to his teammate coming down the ground. Barrett. This will be lucky to stay in, it doesn't stay in. Pushed across the line and the ball is out of bounds again on the... Far side of the ground. Tyson Neal looks pretty well. Looks like he'd come to play today. It looks like he'd like come it. to play today. Yep. It looks like a couple of others have come to play today too. Other umpire throws it in this time. In the bottom of the pack there is a chance for Cowder Bay to get through. They can't get through with it. That was another one of their new players there in Bulldog. Had a few kicks last week. Seen, everyone seemed to stop there and watch um, Lingworth. Lingworth go through. He's been on South Reserves list the last couple of weeks and Back now playing for Encounter Bay. Ball comes down now to centre half back through Wollonga. Hand pass goes across there to their teammate running down and that was Ficken that had it. And he's another new one oh, into the side trouble, from yeah. last week. And he could be in trouble. He's not mm. holding the ball and Wollonga will get the free kick. Well, he, he did. He put the hand out to don't argue, but yeah, uh, yeah, goes to right, don't, Meagle. Don't argue and that's Meagle that's got hold of it. Meagle kicks it down near the coach's box. Off hands it Good comes. Don't know they have it. Yep, he yep, paid that mark. one. Yeah, yeah. He's in front. Billy Cook. And Cook now, well, he will have a chance. He'll, he'll get it down near the goal square. He'll be lucky to get any further, though. It won't be a score from there. And here's a chance for Encounter Bay. They've got the numbers there, different to what they did have last week. They had no numbers anywhere last week. They picked the ball up now, and I think they've gone here for holding the ball, haven't they? Well, no, here's, they're not. Here's trouble, Kev, because there's no one past halfway. <laughs> and Tyson Neal's got the ball, taking a mark just inside the boundary line. So Neal's got he's got to wait for a few players to get to, down there to um, get the ball when he kicks it down. They're all in one half of the ground, so he decides to kick it backwards. Not the best effort, you'd have to say. This has got to come off or it's going to end up in tears out here at the moment. They've had, Counter Bay have had a couple of kicks. They've gone nowhere with it. Tonkin to, it Tonkin to Tonkin to Tonkin. To Tonkin to Tonkin to Tonkin. Back it goes again to Wollonga. And coming in there was an Encounter Bay player. Hit him on the chest, bounced off. Billy, and here's a chance Billy. down there for Cook again. He has spoilt. The ball's about 40 metres out from Wollonga's goals. And Encounter Bay, a little bit of pace out there. He's run his distance. Kicks it down, and this is about the last hurrah for Encounter Bay. There's only two players. The skipper and Beath. The other side of centre. And Beath. 
short kick in, finds his mark, which it does most times when Beathy gets the ball, and he'll kick it down again, coming out down here. The kick wasn't good to the full forward leading out, but maybe it'll happen again. Oh, he went to kick it, took the ball back again, and I think the Can umpire might have paid a free kick, a free kick, kick for some reason or other there. That was their number 30 again, there, a new player there in Joshua Dawson. Dawson. So yeah, he went to play on and it just fell out of his hand then. I don't think they might have grabbed his foot or might something. Have. Yeah, yeah, look. Look. It's a long way away from where mm. we are at the moment. We're over the scoreboard side, not camera far from the scoreboard. Up. Yeah, the camera would have picked that up. Our mate Steve over there, right. he doesn't miss anything. I'll have to bring that up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they go in with a long kick in, and this is going to be offline. Oh, there goes the big mitts of. One of the players down there. Who do you reckon that is? Paul <laughs> Number three, and as in one Bass. Bass again that's got it. And Bass could put this down in the cricket net area on the third hole in the golf club if he wants to. He doesn't want to. He's not as bad as some of those other players from just down the road that would have tried to kick it down to the main road down there. And that is a goal to Wollonga through Bass. Two goal, one Wollonga in Counter Bay. Yet the score in our North Point Flurio scoreboard. South Coast Realty is an independent, locally owned and operated real estate business, incorporating sales and property management of both permanent and holiday rentals. We are heavily involved in the local community, with offices in Goolwa, Normanville, Mount Compass and Victor Harbour. Our professional and friendly staff can assist you with all your real estate needs. And with well over 5,000 registered buyers on our database, all wanting to purchase properties on the South Coast, we really do stand out from the crowd. South Coast Realty, local real estate specialists with the big advantage. Give us a call today. Kick away, bouncy, bouncy ball, going to the boundary line to race on. Blue gets there first and tackled over the boundary line. And I think the boundary umpire will have to be throwing that one back yeah, in. Have to, yeah. Yep. A bit of pace out there. We'll under in the bay hot after the footy. Boundary umpire the footy, deep out in the pocket, just outside 50 for Wollonga. So a chance here for Bass to tap it onto Dreamer, but Tonkin beats him to it, gets in front, but in front of the pack is Wollonga, handball, series of them, pumps back out, out wide, it goes out to the skipper in Beathy again, Beathy up on the left footer, sets it up in deep in the pocket, wants the player to run onto it, can't get there, can't have to work over time, back line's under the pump a little bit back in there, bouncy ball up at the top, got a whistle, and a bit of free kick in Canterbury. It is. Free kick to one of the Tonks, I reckon. It's your Fraser. No, I'm just making him come back, getting a little bit pedantic about it. Move him around an extra foot. And a time off we go again. So can I have to go deep in the pocket, give Wollonga plenty of chance to man up. Paul gets chipped back in there, goes to Fraser Tonkin. Fraser Tonkin's oh. kick was a beauty, straight down the throat, the throat there of Wollonga in uh, Jakey Stanfield. Big fella to big fella. Jakey Stanfield doesn't wait. He gives it straight up to Timmy Boyd. Timmy Boyd to Wollonga loads up, goes deep out. Coach's side pocket inside 50. Bouncy ball up over the top. Tip over the top there is Hamish Tonkin. Tonkins are getting plenty of work out there. Wollonga play at the bottom of the pack up in there. Looks like Tice Hoffman. It could have been down in there. And he's got dumb hold the ball. He's waiting for the umpire. He's a bit theatrical about that one, Kev. Yeah, he's he on the knees for half an hour. Yeah. yeah, you knew what he was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Riding was on the wall. Yeah, it was like was. a poster, he was. Yeah. Canter Bay with the football, loaded up down the club room side wing, through the pass to the coach, but well done by Tyson Neal out on the lead, gets the footy, they've got a player loose oh, back no. in the top, over the top, it's a poor kick, what's going to happen here, they're making him come back, 50 metres down the line, 50 50, metres, no, they? free kick, oh, it's going up. Yeah, yeah, 50 metres, yeah, 50 metres, so, oh, and another 50 metres. So they can put down two there, Kev. Bass get in front. He wouldn't move. Umpire said, get out of the way. And this is going to put the skipper for Encounter Bay Jeez, he's, from he's... Point Bank Lane. Now, he's came from the interchange race to <laughs> Point Blank. He's kicked the goal. Encounter Bay get their first on the board and their first score on the board the way of the skipper there in Tyson Neal. Encounter Bay, one straight goal. Wollonga, two goals, one 
on our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Well, that... Happy Online TV is here, and you can watch it whenever and wherever you like on your PC, mobile phone, laptop, or iPad. Two hours of local news, sport, entertainment, interviews, and much more. Updated every Friday at 12 noon. Simply log on to radio901.com.au and click on the Happy Online TV button and enjoy Happy Online TV. As well, but he put him right up on the line. He wasted about 30 of them. <laughs> He'd be run out of breath by the time he got down there. And <laughs> has got the ball in the centre. We'll throw it up again, up high it goes. Neither Ruckman got near that one. Pushed out then by Tonkin. That's not going anywhere either. The Wollonga player's got it, and two players have got him. And the umpire will come and throw it up in exactly the same spot. Up it goes again this time. Tonkin Tonk's got a little bit early, wasn't the, he? But he's going to get the free kick. I think the other player might have got in his way. Yep, then. yep. And Tonkin's with the ball. It's Callum Tonkin. He kicks it in, and I think they're going to be in trouble here because Haskett's got hold of it. Crispin's <laughs> got hold of uh, Haskett. It took Crispin oh, a while to slow footy. him down. Didn't have the footy. <laughs> What's on the ground now? Here's a chance. This, this could be Illingworth, yeah, is it? That had hold of that, and that is out on the full, and. That will be a kick in down there for Wollonga. I'm not going to get Tarek any favours back in the South Reserve books. No, he's gone backwards down there now. I don't know what Wollonga are trying to prove here, but that was McDonald. Worked OK. It's worked OK because they have got the numbers over there and it uh, looks like they might have them again too because the ball comes in and uh, that beef again, is it? No, no. It's, uh, um, it's not. Anyway, ball comes in short. Wollonga have got hold of it. They've taken the mark and this is a... Round about where the free kick went, went mm. to Tyson Neal a while ago, and Wollonga now. They take the mark right out there in front of their coach's box. Down to the forward line it goes. Over the back of the pack it goes. Look and the Wollonga Tyson. player Hoffman. just runs into an open goal. And that is goal number three for Wollonga. Wollonga three goal one. Encounter Bay two straight goals. On our Flurio, North Point Flurio scoreboard. Before you take off on your next trip, don't pay for taxis or for expensive parking stations. Enjoy the convenience of airport security parking. Simply drive to us. We'll then whisk you and your luggage to the terminal door in just minutes. While you're away, we'll keep your car safe and secure. Then pick you up from the airport when you return. At a very small daily rate, it'll change the way you travel forever. Airport security parking. Book online at asparking.com.au luxury of using a lot of different players so yeah. you've got to use them ball comes up in the center straight out of the center three bass to timmy boyd timmy boyd loads up in 50 underneath it is the man in tyson hoffman again gets dispossessed of the football goes to a teammate could have been billy cook out there deep deep in the pocket and i think she's gone to the boundary umpire off hands and about 30 meters around from Wollonga goals boundary umpire with the ball in again so tonks want to get in front of bass here i've opened up the forward line well, I'm they've kept it very, very clear indeed. Up high she goes again. Tonkin does get his hands down to it. Tonkin to Tonkin to Tonkin again. Comes back out to Crispin. Or oh, used his body well. Oh, just couldn't get there too high. The bounce comes in. Ball dropped there by Wollonga. Pick a players. Plenty up on top of it. Umpire's going to have to have a ball up out of this mess. And that was a good bit of work. So Tonkin has to go again. This time we've got, we've got Haskett. Sneaky, no, we not Right, Tonkin and Bass again, still going to do battle. Up on they go. Bass gets his punch to it, punches towards the, to the line. Pick up in the air is there by McDonald. It's going high, wide and handsome. And made big Louie use the pacemaker down there for a solitary point. So well, I'm going to go to three goals, two to Encanter Bay. One goal on our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Ball comes back quickly now. Chance now for Encounter Bay to get playing the way. At least with this new kickoff area now, you've got a pretty big area now to run out without half a any chance. Way. Yeah, you've got <laughs> half a chance of getting rid of it. And he's run his distance. Kicks it in, and he finds his teammate down there for the Bays, and that was Barrett. So Barrett's got his chance to do something with it. He would just kick a little one down there. And that one is a yeah, Tonkin, Tonkin, Callum yeah. Tonkin has got it just inside the boundary line for Encounter Bay on the far side of the ground. Decides he doesn't want to kick it, gets a hand pass away. Could be in trouble here as um, Tom Bonnesey tries to get it over. And the Encounter Bay are sort of going around in circles with it in the moment. It's Tonkin time to Hamish this time. 
So can you get the other Tonkin over there? Bring them all into it. I don't think they will this time That's because that it's gone Barrett over again. there and that is Barrett. He's over the other mm. side of the ground. He finds another loose player down there right in front of the coach's fence. And Dick will be writing that one down as a stat. Comes over there and there's a player there for Encounter Bay. Almost marked it. Couldn't mark it. And they have marked it this time. Carpenter. Kenny. Kenny yep. Carton. He's yep. got it. Over the top goes the hand pass. Into the Good forward pass. line it goes. And out comes Tyson Neal. Takes the mark over his head. And he will come in now. Well, he needs to kick this one to keep him right in the match, doesn't he? Well, I mean, he does. Nearly yeah. coming up to 20 minutes gone. It's only a few more, not that many. Well, we've got another five minutes maybe this match to, to quarter. It won't be too much. And if he can kick this one, it's only a goal a diff. Well, it is. And uh, Tyson Neal now will bring it in. That's not a bad shot. It's but, okay, uh, doesn't I it? I reckon the goal umpire, and that is probably Derek Dockin It is down Derek. There. And that has gone through for Encounter Bay's second goal, is it? Yep. Encounter Bay now, two straight goals, trailing Mulunga, three goal, two. Skipper on, on both. The, the Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. Our dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, renowned for being the best beer garden on the south coast. There's live music every Friday night, traditional pub style accommodation and we're also a sip and save outlet for all your favourite party needs. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. It's a tap down. Canterbury got a little bit of pep in their step. Kick up in the line there didn't go too well and it's gone straight down the throat. That'd be a collier out there wearing the hard hat. James. James it is. James kicks the football out wide, nearly come off hands. Poor Wallunga player come off hands, got him tackled. Pro opportunity umpire. Yes, yeah, he said, oh, yes, there was. And it is holding the ball, goes back to Tonks. Tonks and back door. Canterbury get a quick kick away to Barrett. Barrett's off and running, nobody on him. Up old wobbly old kick over the top. Well, Wood on Tyson Neal kept his hands to it. Canterbury got it on he's the ball, running. He's in a lot of, of trouble. Well, the umpire goes to that penguin stance yeah. and says, holding the ball. Yeah. He looks like Ray Chamberlain, doesn't yeah. he? <laughs> you can play tunnel ball with him. Yeah. Good, good spread of the legs, roll a couple of beach balls through his legs. Yeah. Ball with Collier. Collier, the recipient, wobbly old kick up forward, bouncy one. Loose ball comes to Beathy, the skipper, to Wollonga, comes out wide. Oh, we've got a free kick down the line. Beathy got dispossessed of the football after he'd got rid I of the football. I can't believe that. It's funny about that. <laughs> He's got a target on his back. 007, it reads, not seven. So both, Sean both the skipper for Wollonga loads up deep out in the pocket, but it's all blue and white they down there. The lake. Oh, they did, didn't they? Went down the hands. Wollonga got it. McCannabay get the kick away, though. Back out to Beathy it goes again. Just hovering back there and says, sorry, boys, I'll clean up my mess. And maybe we'll change up things. He's looking across our side of the oval to the scoreboard side. He does. Switches up play. Oh, a player unchecked out up in the middle. Right out there in number 12 there in Sammy Tregenza. Sammy Tregenza was a Moponga player, wasn't he? Young yeah, as a, as a Colt. Been. Yes, remember Sammy played in the in the under 15s Colts many years ago, and that footy's come back to a standstill. Out in front of goals, Bassie at the bottom of the pack, wrapped up with a few of his teammates. Umpire says, "I'll ball up 30 metres out directly in front of Wollonga goals." Tonkin gets a tap down up underneath it. There Crispin's was, in a bit Crispin of trouble. Crispin is in a lot of trouble <laughs> here. He is wrapped up. Plenty of time to get rid of the footy, and. I reckon that might have been uh, a little beefy involved in all that one, but it's McDonald, I think it is, for Wollonga. No, sorry, Cameron Hutchins, sorry. Yeah, for Crispin, Wollonga. he, he ran, a, ran about eight or nine metres with it, then slowed down a bit and bang, he was gone. <laughs> he, was, he was getting chased over. So Hutchins with the football, Cameron Hutchins, it is for Wollonga. 24 directly in front, 35 out. Good kick, drop punt on its way. Big Louie didn't move too far. The Wollonga boys come up with both hands of clapping. And goal number four on the board to Wollonga. They go to four goals, two to Encanter Bay. Two goals on our North Point Fluoro scoreboard, Kev. Welcome to Happy Rugs. Happy Rugs stock a wide range of rugs to suit all rooms, budgets and needs. From lounge room and kids room to kitchen, living and dining room. Unique to Happy Rugs is our free sleepover service where you can try out your selected rug at your home or business before purchasing it. We offer great prices, a huge range and excellent customer service. Happy Rug owners buy their rugs from Happy Rugs. 
24 Ocean Street, Victor Harbour. Phone 08 Throws the ball up in the centre once again. Up it goes. Knock out there went to Scott We've got a whistle. Hunt. We've got a whistle further back, Kev. And the whistle further back gives Walunga someone in the square. Another free kick. And they go out there and the free kick goes to Trigenza again. Trigenza kicks it in and do a player out there. He doesn't miss him too often. And that player, I reckon, is Meagle. Is it Brett Meagle by the look of it? And in it goes to the forward line. Another mark being taken out there by Wollonga. Is that our big mate out there in... I was just going to say... Bass? Yeah, it is Bass. I was just going to say, your other big mate out there that I've, I've missed... I've, you know, how can we forget him after... Uh, Anzac Day is, uh, is Scott Hunt. Yeah, I don't he is on the team sheet, but he's he must be resting on the fence. He could be. Anyway, big bass goes in as a kick. Louis just looks up like at the it, ball going straight over the top of his head, and that is the second goal to Bass and goal number five to Wollonga. Wollonga five two. Counter Bay two straight goals on the North Point Fleurio scoreboard. Hi, I'm Jamie, manager at Telfer Store Victor Harbour. If you need help with anything tech related, we're here to help. If you're having problems with your phone or internet, we can give you a bit more help than just telling you to turn it off and on again. And if you need a new phone or entertainment bundle, we can show you some options. And this is so feel free to pop in for a friendly chat anytime. We look forward to seeing you at Telstra Store Victor Harbour soon. And the body high ball up in there, or Sammy come up over the shoulder and giving the free away. Wasn't much in it, just a little tap over the top, but you can't do it. Oh, oh a no. long lope and amble. What? Somebody bring out the yeah. two ambulances you'll need to recover this football. Yeah. Ball comes yeah. back, and Canterbury lucky get away with it. What's going on? Oh, Big Dick's blown the siren. Yeah. That's what happened. So it's in, the, it is quarter time here at the Bay Oval with Wollonga leading. Five goals, too. Better start the head last week to Encanto Bay. Two goals straight on our North Point Flurio scoreboard and Kev. What a hand pass that was. Who did it go to? Did it go to anybody? It was going it was to right. hospital. Well, That's where it was going. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they're lucky that the person it was aimed at is not in hospital because it went up in the air. He stood up, had a look at it, and he thought, my God, I've got to get out of here. Was that Nick? I can't think of it was that handballed that one up there. I wasn't no. taking a little revenge. I just watched the footy just go straight up into the sky and I go, some whoever's underneath it's going to get crunched. <laughs> the goal scorers so far two to Bass, mm. one to Hoffman, Hutchins, and Dawson for Wollonga. And there's only two goals for Encounter Bay one to Tyson Neal and one to Fraser Tonkin. So, quarter time, players take a break here. Five goals to Wollonga. Two straight goals in Counter Bay. Victor Tire Power are your local one stop shop for all tyres, wheels, and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice, and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Happy Online TV is here and you can watch it whenever and wherever you like on your PC, mobile phone, laptop or iPad. Two hours of local news, sport, entertainment, interviews and much more. Updated every Friday at 12 noon. Simply log on to radio901.com.au and click on the Happy Online TV button and enjoy Happy Online TV. Mobility Aids and more do more than just sell and hire mobility aids. Qualified Nurse Cassie can help you overcome everyday challenges with an extensive range of incontinence aids, kitchen aids, bedding aids and bathroom aids. Exclusive to Mobility Aids and more are the range of Freedom Mobility Scooters. These amazing scooters are packed with features that sets them apart from other scooters. Calling today for a free test drive. Purchase a Freedom Mobility Scooter this month and receive a free rear scooter bag and flag. Visit our new online store at mobilityaidsandmore.com.au for a complete range of mobility aids. 
Mobility aids and more. Shop 6, 46 Ocean Street, Victor Harbour. Phone 08 8552 Happy Online TV is here and you can watch it whenever and wherever you like on your PC, mobile phone, laptop or iPad. Two hours of local news, sport, entertainment, interviews and much more updated every Friday at 12 noon. Simply log on to radio901.com.au and click on the Happy Online TV button and enjoy Happy Online TV. Wanganui could bury him quickly, so they'd be still uh, irking a little bit from last week. The bays, but Nifty, uh, they're well, going to rock. Just before yep, we get going, Victor Harbour, eight yep. goals, three. Goolwa, one goal, one. So it looks like our friend Mr. Davey might have had his kicking boots on again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eight goals, eight goals, three at quarter time. They weren't even eight goals, three last week. Yeah, well, as I said, I mean, no, I didn't see the game. I was listening to your comment, and you can just sort of see him picturing himself like, and they're delivering the footy to him. Well, that's pretty good. Five goals in the first quarter last week. He's probably done that again today. Umpire has the footy, can. We're ready to go right. the second term. Here at Encounter Bay Oval, it is Encounter Bay taking on Wollonga. Up high they go again, even ruck contest, but Bass come down with a bit of a fumbly one. She's gone to ground, Encounter Bay push it through, Wollonga try and toe poke it through. Little handball at the back of the cock, goes to Billy Cook, he handballs it off to the teammate. Inside 50, looks like Timmy Boyd with that one in there. Long ball in and it's gone straight down the throat and I mentioned it before, Kev. Where is he? They've brought him on the second term, Scotty Hunt. Yeah, well, Is he going to run in and slap one to Ganelg this week, Kev? Well, it was a couple of years ago, I think he ended up playing for my Ponga. Yep. <laughs> they need him back again. <laughs> well, he's hanging around down here in the red and white side now, so Hunt, it is. Five metres out, fair angle low, Goals be looking at him. Take it casually. Oh, he's ace that straight across the face of Goals, and he's gone out of bounds on the full. I put the mockers on him again, Kev. Yank up, four goals, three. Langon Creek, three goals, three. That's a good game. Hmm. And Strathalbyn at quarter time. My Ponga Silex 2 1, Strathalbyn 1 2. And Kiata Bay with the ball. They kick it down the ground. Off hands it goes. Here's a chance for a longer player to pick it up out there. He tries to go through the pack. He can't. And the umpire will come in from wherever he is out there. The one that uh, is down the Netball caught in, decided he didn't need to go down there, and the ball will be thrown up. Up it goes. Off hands it goes. Chance for Encounter Bay to play to pick it up there. It's like a slippery piece of soap, and he'll come in again and throw it up. A lot of players around the ball over that far side. That's where Van used to be over that side at one stage, Nifty, and all the plays been over there again. Anyway, Walunga get the ball out. Here's a chance now for them to get it down their forward line. Oh, cut off, I reckon. That might be Crispin that's got out of it. So Crispin's got it now. And there's a, that's a good kick no down. Drop. Yeah, no drop. A good kick down there, and the free kick has been paid to Encounter Bay. It is over there. And Kenny. It is Kenny Carpenter. He got it. Back it goes to Crispin. Crispin back to Carpenter. Looks like they're trying to get their points Stats up out up. there. Yep. Stats up and the ball now goes down to the half forward line where looks like Wollonga's in front in there. Must be very close to the boundary line over that side of the ground. And quick push out. 
Wollonga get the better of it. And there's a tall player out there from Wollonga. He couldn't get into the game at all. And across it goes again to Crispin. Crispin grabbed hold of somebody and uh, perhaps the free kick has gone out here to him. And that is Fraser Tonkin, I reckon, that's had the free kick. And he stuck it straight down the throat at Illingworth. Well, let's see if Illingworth time at South Adelaide has been any good for him. He's got a chance here to put the ball through. Got some fast looking boots on there. Yeah, it is. Good ones, they must give them away down there at South. Bright orange. And bright orange boots. <laughs> I thought Burdett was the only one that had bright orange boots. In goes Illingworth. That Good is kick. a monster kick. It's Good gone through kick. down there. I think Louis's got that, that one. has gone straight through the goal, and that is a, a goal out there to Tarek Illingworth. And Calabay go to three straight goals, five goals to Wollonga on North Point Flurio scoreboard. Did you South Coast Realty is an independent, locally owned and operated real estate business, incorporating sales and property management of both permanent and holiday rentals. We are heavily involved in the local community, with offices in Goolwa, Normanville, Mount Compass and Victor Harbour. Our professional and friendly staff can assist you with all your real estate needs. And with well over 5,000 registered buyers on our database, all wanting to purchase properties on the South Coast, we really do stand out from the crowd. South Coast Realty, local real estate specialists with the big advantage. Give us a call today. Give me my phone. Umpire with the footy. Comes back in. Well done. Tap down by Tonkin. Oh, they're going to be beaten there. Tis, be, tis beaten up. And then there by big Jakey Stanfield. Long. Oh, well, well done. Crispin. Crispin. Good yeah. run down. Good tackle. And he's got Timmy Boyd down quickly hard on the cricket pitch too. Boyd, he's getting up a bit ginger. Well done by Crispin. Oh, and Boyd ankle, is a little right? bit ankle. It is yeah. pretty hard out in that pitch. I would reckon plenty of rain on it. Goes through to, now through to the skipper in Neil. Neil loads up the footy. Goes down the line. Goes to... Oh, how come Sam Alex Apollos didn't get that one? Knocked out of the palm as he took it. Doesn't matter. It's on the ground. Umpires are letting it go. Free for all down there. Comes out back door in Canter Bay. Long rope and handball goes out to Tonkin. We must have a whistle in there. Free kick to Wollonga, I think. Stopped and going back, and it's gone back to Sam Alex Apollos. Samuel goes backwards a long, long way. That's okay. He's got plenty of helpers back there to help him out. They switch up play. They're coming across the scoreboard side the oval. They attack the high side, low side. Doesn't come, matter. It goes to Collier. Collier back over the top to a teammate. The run on pass. He'll kick this footy from right in front of the scoreboard. Not a good kick. It's gone straight down the throat there of Hamish Tonkin. Yeah, the ball, knocked, his arms knocked out Not the free. line. Yep. So it doesn't matter. Mark it would have been paid there from Hamish. Hamish needs some targets. Hamish drops the footy up in there. Good lead. Comes back out. Quick hands. Plays on quickly. The run comes through Costello. Costello kicks in. Or a good bit of body on body up there. But that's good. And Barrett's held his ground over a pilus. Barrett's got the mark. Barrett should be within range here, I would think. He's a pretty good kick on him. He kicked Probably. a few against uh, Yank, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. He played very well. And he's got a fair bit of the footy in the first quarter too, Barrett. So uh, needs to nail this one. Barrett's kick on its way. That's a beautiful looking oh, drop. Oh, oh, Kenny's oh. happy back down there, Kev, so it must be a goal. It is. A goal there to uh, Barrett. Net Patrick Barrett, that's his first goal. And in Canter Bay's fourth straight goal. So getting themselves back in the match, Kev. Five goals, two Wollonga. Four straight goals in Canter Bay on a North Point Fluoro scoreboard. Welcome to Happy Rugs. Happy Rugs stock a wide range of rugs to suit all rooms, budgets and needs. From lounge room and kids room to kitchen, living and dining room. Unique to Happy Rugs is our free sleepover service where you can try out your selected rug at your home or business before purchasing it. We offer great prices, a huge range and excellent customer service. Happy Rug owners buy their rugs from Happy Rugs. 24 Ocean Street, Victor Harbour. Phone 08 7973. We'll get the free kick down there from Bonus, I think that one was. The umpire, well, he's just letting play go on. He blows a whistle just as he can. Always, always the way. Get the in ball the, loose. Yeah, always the way. And he's got to come back now, bring the ball back and throw it up again. Up it goes. Gee, he threw that up that eye that the Ruckman had no idea when to run in and try and get it. But down to the forward line it goes. 
Here's a chance for the Bays if they can pick it up, but they can't. Looks like Walungi in the race for the ball out here. It's Sam Alexopoulos has got it, gets it over to a teammate. Now it's over almost in front of us. Off hands it goes again. Here's a chance. Oh, he oh, didn't have it. He's got to pay that for a free oh, kick, surely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Anyway, plays allowed to go on. Taken down there by Illingworth. Illingworth gets it down. Oh, off hands it comes again. Walungi have got the numbers. Alexopoulos has got the ball. And there's oh. blue jumpers everywhere out here. And oh, the Ooh. ball gets knocked down to the ground. Free kick out of the pack down there. Well, it should be picked up by Wollonga. It is picked up out there by Hoffman. Hoffman, kick goes astray. T get taken down there by Sampson, Cooper Sampson. Straight down Haskett's throat. And Haskett now. They get this down their forward line. And you'd think that the Bays with their numbers would be able to do something with this. A little bit of pace showing now by the player Westy. that had it. And that was West. Comes off hands and the player at the back, and that was Meagle. He finds his teammate out there, and Billy Cook. They will have a shot from just Billy. You've got the distance 50. here. There's no real breeze out there. No, no, tonight, nothing. Not a breath. Oh, well, maybe a little bit, but nothing to worry about in footy. So he'll come in, and that is Billy Cook. Billy Cook. Good kick, and Billy. And Billy Cook has... No, Ben Riumpo says I'll have it. No, Colin yeah. says I'll have it. And the ball has gone through for a goal to Wollonga. 6-2 Wollonga, four, four straight goals in Counter Bay. That's 38-24 and our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. He's in a bit of trouble and there's that Stanfield in the bottom of that back. Can't see it. The umpires are letting it go, letting it go. Come in and wrap this up. Too many, this is where accidents happen. That would have been a great one on the camera. Then right in front of the camera, that was. Yeah. Interesting to watch that one on replay tonight. Oh, well, we found a free kick out of all this lot. And it goes the way of Encounter Bay. They play on quickly. This is one to be good. A tap on has come well. Here's the chance for Ealingworth. Needs to pick up the footy. Needs to see if South taught him a little bit down up in there. Doesn't do it. Come didn't, over. Goes to a teammate. Didn't teach goes his to teammate the anything, safety uh, of the band uh, line. Looks like a free, a free kick. kick. What's that for, Dean? For a bit of a trip throw, something, something or other. Well, has yeah. got it, though. And umpire being a bit pedantic. Please come around. Another foot, please, sir. Stand in front of your mark. Now you can play on. He's looking for his skipper probably down the line or Hoffman's up underneath it as well. Good, takes a good grab. Free kick, counter bow. And a little bit of a shove shove, was it? A little it? bit of push out. Comes Got back into, into yeah, it comes to Hamish Tonkin. Hamish Tonkin goes, loads up deep in the pocket, up underneath his carp and he can't get it. Punched down up on the ground they go. Plenty of Wollonga players in there and counter bow needs a little bit of help. Too close to the boundary line. The gun are letting it go. He comes back out to Kenny. Kenny Carpenter. Oh, puts a banana bender around the bend and he bent it too far. Kev. Yeah. Off target and through for their first blemish on the scoreboard. Four goals, one in counter bay. Six goals, two Wollonga on their North Point Florida scoreboard. Wollonga player goes down there's not a person within Kui of the back line down there. <laughs> no. And Wollongo will bring the ball back in. He can certainly run a long way now. Comes out, runs his distance, puts the ball up high and out there with the big ball. Oh, good grab. Good grab down there by Encounter Bay and that was Bulldog. He's got hold of it. So it was Bulldog, a good grab. Now, he, can, he can put this right back into the goal square down there and up they go again, and there's the big arms up there of a Wollonga player. Is that Bass having a rest down at well, full back? Be, is it Bass? Just try and pick him up. Kick it in now, Wollonga had the ball. Oh, well blocked down there by Encounter Bay. They can run and have a long shot in from here. They have had a long shot in from there. Touch right on the line, and that is another minor score to Encounter Bay. 4 2, 6 2, Encounter Bay, 12 points behind. I'm just trying to pick up the player back down, down in there for pulling full back for Wollonga today. So we certainly miss Scotty Brown back there. He played a great game Anzac Day. Ball comes back up. Up it comes to big Jakey Stanfield. Puts a couple of mitts underneath it and says, I'll have that one. Jake plays on quickly. Keeps pushing it down the line. Counter bail up underneath. Well done. Will 
jumped in up on the footy, Beathie's in there, jumps up on top, pulls in the stoppage. And from the players' race entrance, right at the centre wing there on club room side here at the Counter Bay Oval. And Bob will ball it up again. Bass into the ring. Tonkin gets the tap down from Bass, goes to a pack of players and he'll come in and repeat the dose on this lot if he can find a free kick. He can only do. And by quickly flicks it up up in there again Tonkin up over the top gets it knocks it down to himself he's got it and they've got hold of him Bass gets it rips the footy back out of his hands now she's a bouncy loose ball up on the ground blue hands have got it up in there tackles are coming a plenty over the shoulder says the umpire and a free kick going the way of the bay they're doing it sooner or later they just bar it again where it goes short out there and finds Fraser Tonkin. Fraser Tonkin loads up the boot, goes to centre half forward. Oh, out in front, Bay player just couldn't take the mark. Still letting them both play on, play on, play on. So it's cool. Pack on play. top of it, don't they? <laughs> Certainly are, Kev. I can't get any score there. 4 2 in Canna Bay, 6 2 Wollonga on our North Point Fleurio score. Yeah, but the 13 minute mark of the second quarter, the umpire throws it up again. The chance for Wollonga. It was player races game. off with it. Mate, it's not your footy. <laughs> it wasn't it your footy, it's <laughs> Callum Tonkins. And Tonkin kicks it in short. He's got his players leaning out there, and that's gone about another 30 metres past the pack down there. Wollonga try to pick it up. They can't pick it up, but they get the free kick, did they? Not sure whether no, that was a free kick still. or not. It could be play on down to the unmarked centre half back area for Wollonga. Kicks it in. The ball's taken down there by Hutchins. Hutchins has got older. Tries to run around the man on the mark and just kicks it up sky high. This is a hospital ball if ever there was one. No one touched it before <laughs> it hit the ground. It. No one wanted it. And that could have almost been too high to start with too. I think the player down there will get up and rub his chin a bit. But the umpire comes and says, give it to me I and think... I'll throw it up. I thought he said, Daddy bought me a pony and I'm riding him. <laughs> <laughs> the umpire comes in, chucks it up. Tonkin goes up. Got beaten in the ruck this time. By Wollonga War player there, it's he tried the ball. to break holding through, the that's ball. holding the ball. There's a lot of holding the Oh, he's the gone the throw, no, he's pulled throw on is that it? one. Oh, yeah. well, whatever, it doesn't matter, no one bothers to stand the mark. Tonkin runs his distance out there. The back of the pack, though, Barrett. it's encounter by out there. There's a long hand pass Tyson. over to Neil. Neil doesn't even have to change his step. Has a long shot for goal, and Big Louie runs over there and sits only a point. So, four goals, three in Counter Bay, six goal, two Wollonga, 15 minutes into the quarter. Well, they're pepping away at it, but they're making poor old Louie break out into a cold sweat back there. Wollonga are kicking down towards the netball, netball court end. Is there any netball can... on anymore? Well, they have netball sides? It's been pretty quiet there. They do, they don't have too many. Right? Wollonga with a footy long, big kick in again. Oh, Bass, good grab. Pack of players, too tall. Too strong, he's around the ground, this big fella. Pass, puts in a bit of a helicopter kick. Down the line to Tyson Neil, uh, Tyson Hoffman. Can't get all of the footy. Goes to ground, handball comes back out to Tonkin. Gets dispossessed of it. Comes back out to Westy. Westy sort of got a one-hand quick make-believe throw. We can may come up with a free kick, that's OK. And that's coming up to Hamish Tonkin again. So Hamish has had a bit of practice from this spot here. Need to load up, need to find a target, need to sprint in. Where's Tyson hiding somewhere down there? there? No, he can't keep from there. He's gone deep, deep, deep out in the pocket. And the Counter Bay player was in front. Did he mark it just in yes, time? Yes, he did. He, he marked did. just in front of the line. And that's the big fella down there in Bo Tyler Baldock. Baldock loads up. Kenny Carpenter out in front oh, and hits him on the high diddle diddle right on the chest. I think you're right, though. When Carpenter starts getting a few kicks, the Counter Bay go They do, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that game against uh, Yankee Lilla a few weeks ago, he was he was he was on fire, wasn't he? Yeah, last week he was out That's of fire. fire. <laughs> yeah. And it was the other, where was the other young, the young lad there? Ealing, was it Ellingworth or something? Kicked a few goals in that first quarter, or no? I can't think it was now for in Canterbury. Which which games? In the Yank in the Yank game. Oh, well, it might have been. I wasn't. Yeah. There. Oh, that's right. You went here on that one. So Gaz has come through. Has he got the bay rolling? Yeah, Big right. Louie is. Sorry, relief. He didn't have to run too far. Carpenter gets his first goal. In Canterbury, get their fifth on the board. So five goals, three in Canterbury to six goals, two Wollonga on our North Point Furio scoreboard. And Kev, they're coming back to make a game of.
At North Point Flurio, we're committed to creating memorable experiences for our guests, which is why you'll now find Victor Harbour Toyota, Victor Harbour Mitsubishi and Victor Harbour Hyundai at one convenient location. Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour. Whether you're looking for a new Mitsubishi, new Toyota or new Hyundai or need your vehicle serviced, we're committed to helping make your experience feel a little easier, creating memorable experiences. It's North Point Flurio's way. Visit us at Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour or northpointflurio.com.au ball comes back out, tap down. Beef. Yeah. Well, it's beefy. Ball gets put back again. Counter bait getting it. Goes out to Bass. We've got hanging on. The ball's got to come got back. It'll be a way. free kick and Bass kicked that away. So we're lucky you get away with not a 50 on that one. Handball to handball. Play on the call. Comes back. Tonkin. Tonkin goes out wide. A good pick up there. Is that Tyson, Tyson out wide? Yeah. It is, I think. A run up, comes through. Well done, Amish oh, again. Oh, he gets unloaded AD, down yeah. the ground. Yep. Did he get it down the ground? Yep. So, and the second umpire's going back just to check up and to see who did the old umping and bumping here and whatever, just a yak to that player to say, mate, just get your, uh, yeah. your silliness, silliness at Wollonga. And the recipient of the free kick down the ground, Kev. But any many harder, I think he might well, have had Free a kick down the spell. ground, I don't know who it was because they played on quickly and they've kicked the goal. So Encounter Bay have hit the front on the North Point Flurio scoreboard by a point. Encounter Bay are six goals, three to Wollonga, six goals, two. And Kev, we'll have to put it down the no body on that one because I was looking. Before you take off on your next trip, don't pay for taxis or for expensive parking stations. Enjoy the convenience of airport security parking. Simply drive to us. We'll then whisk you and your luggage to the terminal door in just minutes. While you're away, we'll keep your car safe and secure. Then pick you up from the airport when you return. At a very small daily rate, it'll change the way you travel forever. Airport Security Parking. Book online at asparking.com.au. With a 50 now, Wollonga got it down their forward line. Coming out down there, well, there's three players out there. If they can give it to the running players, they're in business. Player there tried to break through the pack. Umpire gives him the benefit of the doubt. It goes along the ground though. Picked up again by Wollonga. Long hand pass. Oh, Here's one. Must be Beathy. A and Beathy just walks in and says, well, I'll put Wollonga back in front again. Wollonga seven goals, two. In Counter Bay, six goals, three. And our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Now we go. Hi, I'm Jamie, manager at Telstra Store Victor Harbour. If you need help with anything tech related, we're here to help. If you're having problems with your phone or internet, we can give you a bit more help than just telling you to turn it off and on again. And if you need a new phone or entertainment bundle, we can show you some options. And this is so feel free to pop in for a friendly chat anytime. We look forward to seeing you at Telstra Store Victor Harbour soon. Turns the lights out on you. Mm. Andrew Umpire's very good today here, getting the footy back quickly. They had to go down to the netball courts and cash in on that one. Well, half time today, I think he's going to. Steve is going to replay the interview I had with Dick Whitley a week or so oh, ago. That'd be breathtaking stuff. If you're going to make a cup of tea, I'd go and do it. Half <laughs> <laughs> time. You about Dick's heroic? Yeah, yes, I did. Yeah, you know, it'd be a good interview. Dick's a great bloke, mm. champion of the game, down here. Free kick's gone up and gone the way of Encanter Bay. Advantage being paid. The lead comes out. They just can't mark it at centre half forward. Get them out. Got to get it right. They need a different wingman down there. Plenty of wrestling going on. How's the umpire going to play this one? He's going to play it. going to play a he free kick, gonna, is he? He's going to throw it up. Or are we going to have it? No, no we've got a free kick. Free yeah, kick going out there. Barrett, I think. Is it Barrett? I think it is Barrett. I don't know, is it? You'd better eyes than you're, I've got. You're right, far yeah, away. start chewing on the carrots. He's starting to get dark. We probably don't need the um, stuff on the screen today. I'm pretty sure it's Barry. You keep an eye on him, Kev. The kick is on its way. Canterbury need this one. Where's Big Louie going for that one? He's gone for the pacemaker. It's off target. It's only a minor score. So 6-4 in Canterbury. 7-2, Wollongo, North Point scoreboard. He hasn't turned around, so we can't see his number from here. Anyway, the ball will come back. Went right through the through the goals, nearly down to the cricket net. It wasn't Barrett. No, he's over there, just yeah. almost level with the umpire across. Yeah. Yeah. As Wollonga is about to kick it back in again. Decides to go over the scoreboard side, but it just kicks it up high. In goes Tonkin with it, or the player was too far, big for him behind, and that's gone over there to Hunt. Hunt kicks it down to the boundary line. 
should be picked up here by West. West has got a couple to beat out there. He's just laying on top of it. The umpire will give him the benefit of the doubt here and throw it up. Comes in now, throw it up, centre wing, scoreboard side. Hunt just got in the way and didn't give him a good run at the ball then. And what's the umpire going to do here? Oh, I'll tell you what, he's pretty good at this holding the ball thing, isn't he? It doesn't give him too long to get rid of it. And there goes a free kick to Walunga. Off hands it goes, and this will be one for the boundary umpire in a minute, you would think. It is a bounced across the line and out of bounds. That's the first time the ball's been out of bounds this quarter. Which is not a bad effort. It's not bad at all. Mm. So the ball will be brought Especially back Especially when in. you made them have the oval smaller. <laughs> uh, the kind of says it's about five metres in the end. Oh yeah, well it's a bit bigger than the longer, isn't it? <laughs> so I do have a problem <laughs> down there, do I? <laughs> <laughs> for I'll Jerry. throw the ball back in, yeah, Jerry's... He'd be probably Jerry, down watching Jerry's the Jerry's ruler is a bit, <laughs> a bit shorter than everybody <laughs> else's, I think. Quick kick out of the pack down there by Wollonga. Out it goes, ball's on the ground. Taken out now by Encounter Bay. Can they get rid of it? No, they can't get rid of it. Crispin comes through. He gets rid of it. He, he oh, Beathy gets, gets rid of him. Bundled out. <laughs> oh, oh Beathy's given the free away. Crispin will get the free kick. <laughs> I thought it was a good bump. <laughs> it may be a little bit long, a little bit rough, but anyway, Encounter Bay got the ball over there, club room side. Down the ground they go with it. And there's a good mark. That Barrett. was a good fingertipper taken down there by Barrett. He's a good kick. Could be two kicks away from a goal down there, and that is a good kick down the ground. Oh, wait, back, the Kenny, back of the back. back was Kenny. Kenny Carpenter. They come in now, they'll have a shot, and a mark has been taken down there by Encounter Bay. Tyson. And this is Tyson. Skipper. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to kick this one. But here's a score from. If he uh, kicks this one, I'd be going, I'd go in at half time on a lead, I reckon. The score from my bunga, my bunga Sellies, 5 1. Strath Alban, 7 goals, 5 half time. We're in the 24-minute mark of this quarter. Geez, Terry's hot off the press today. Oh, is he ever, yeah. How yeah, good is he going? He's, he knows we're watching him. <laughs> <laughs> in goes Tyson Neal. Oh, he has missed. So it's six goals, five in Counter Bay, seven goals, two Wollonga. Do you think it had 40-knot breeze blowing across the face of goals on that one? Wouldn't you know he bent that one? He'd make, he'd make a good banana bender. <laughs> really? You go just... up and play with Lord. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's He's a banana bender, isn't he? That's Lord's up there for, is it? Bending bananas. Yeah, good idea. Ball comes back, he did Wollonga. Wollonga or Wollonga, that's okay. They're fast side of the over, just can't pick up the numbers just as yet. Long one, kick down the line. Big Jakey Stanfield's going to get his mitts in the way. Right at centre wing, club room side, switches up play into the mid. Oh, that's okay. Find his teammate there in Hutchins. Hutchins comes back out wide to Bass. Bass gets the run on to Collier. Collier 60 metres out. Puts one up. High chance here for the run out for Hunt. Can't get there. Punched away. Meagles in there. Meagle up and over the body. Meagles off target and kicked the point. Good try. Good effort. Bit lucky then, weren't they? And count of way that they didn't go in a little bit further behind that uh, half time. Player there runs his distance out. You can almost kick it in the centre now, the way these uh, kickoff lines is. The mark's been taken there by Encounter Bay through Jaden Hall. Gets it over the top to Tyson Neal. Tyson Neal takes two steps and Kenny. belts it down the ground to Kenny. Oh, what a push down. It's gone out over here. And this would be his first cuck. And that's oh, Nick good Marshall. Mark. Yeah. And, yet, and straight down the throat there of uh, Tyler Bulldog. Yeah, Nick he can't make Tyler. That week. one was over, coming over the shoulder. He's running away from the floor of the footy. Marked it. The ones that were coming straight at his eyes. He was. He's been dropping. That one. This will be a very timely mark, Kev. It will be. It could be a timely goal. Too. Yeah, absolutely. You need Change to keep the this lead. One. Yep. Bear him going at half time. That little bit of pep in their step. So the other quarter was twenty. Kicks good, Kev. 20. Kicks good. And that is a goal there to Bulldog. Tyler Border with his goal on the board, and that changes the lead again. And Canter Bay go in. Well, we'll go in at half time, you would think. It's 26 15 gone here in this tournament. Seven goals, five to in Canter Bay. Seven goals, three to Wollonga. So we'll nearly have to start again at three quarters. First quarter, quarter was 26 20. Hamper Warehouse creates stunning gourmet hampers with quality products sourced from the Adelaide Hills and across the Fleurier Peninsula. You have a choice of five gourmet hampers which can be very to suit. Ideal as a personal gift for family and friends or special occasions or to show someone that you care. Want to make an impression on your clients? We can deliver a personalised corporate hamper.
hamper, complete with your company colours and branding. Give a gift that says you care. Give a gourmet hamper from Hamper Warehouse. Phone 0417 804 931. Email or order online at hamperwarehouse.com.au. How is it? You don't reckon it is. Anyway, the umpire calls in to play on. Down it goes to the centre half forward area out there. Almost a mark taken by Wollonga. Couldn't complete it though. If out comes a loose ball, gone out here to the bays, and Josh that has Marshall. gone down there to Josh Marshall. And there, there goes the honker. A siren to end the second quarter. If we can stop the clock, I won't stop. Won't stop, Kev. You want to try my finger? Look at that. Yeah. No, no still don't stop. Yeah, we put the mockers on the clock. There we go. Hey, wee boy. Got him. And the score at uh, half time is seven goals. Five in Counter Bay mm -hmm. to seven goals three Wollonga. And we nearly have to start again, won't we? Nearly have to oh, start again. Just uh, got to. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, he's no, they, they were a point out on the scoreboard. Out. So Derek's coming Derek. over and said to Put an extra give the Bays another point. Give the Bays That's what we said to Tom um, Tom today when he came over, Tom Gibbs, that uh, we need our own scoreboard because the scoreboards are not always right. Not always. Especially at Encounter Bay and Victor. <laughs> we're not always right either, but we're right again today, Kev. <laughs> Scoreboard has been waved off by the goal umpires. Seven goals, f five in Encounter Bay to Wollonga. Seven goals, three, Kev. Any stats need to go? Yeah, we were going yeah, back to yeah, see no, old no, I think there is a stat need yeah? to go. I reckon the what ball we went out of bounds once. Once? In That's that quarter. Well, Have we mentioned that? That's a... He did. That, we haven't right given the goal kickers out, Nifty. Oh, sorry. In there. I have put them here. We'll all bar one for... Um, for uh, in, Canada in, in Canada Bar, Bar yes, yeah. which we didn't miss because we were too busy watching what was happening with the umpiring situation. But anyway, Daniel Bass with two goals, Sean Beath with one goal, Billy Cook with one goal, Tyson Hoffman one goal, Hutchins Cameron Hutchins with one goal, and a Joshua Dawson with one goal for Wilunga. And for in Canada Bay, Tyson Neal, a skipper with two, uh, Patrick Barrett with a one, uh, Gary Carpenter with one, and Tarek Illingworth with one, and Tyler Baldock with a one goal also. So, close game, 7-5 in Canter Bay. Seven goals, three, Kenny. Before, two, we, go before away, we go you just want to, Oh, you more scores? Away, more we scores, got Kenny? Score here, we Mount, got it all happening. Mount Compass. Yep. In front. Four goal, five. Yep. McLaren. Four goal, three. That's a defensive game, isn't it? It is a real defensive oh, game down there. So. Low score. And you've got the other one that we gave out a minute ago. Seven, five, Strath album to five goals, one, May Ponga Silix. And we'll take a break here. And Kev will get some more. We'll see if we can get some more scores and we'll be back in about 15 minutes. But hang on and hear the interview we had with Dick Little. Oh, I can't wait a week or so ago. I'm going to put my TV on right now. <laughs> All right, boy. South Coast Realty is an independent, locally owned and operated real estate business, incorporating sales and property management of both permanent and holiday rentals. We are heavily involved in the local community, with offices in Goolwa, Normanville, Mount Compass and Victor Harbour. Our professional and friendly staff can assist you with all your real estate needs. And with well over 5,000 registered buyers on our database, all wanting to purchase properties on the South Coast, we really do stand out from the crowd. South Coast Realty, local real estate specialists with the big advantage. Give us a call today. Pa's Famous Fish Cafe is renowned for their delicious fish plates, seafood platters and tasty hamburgers. Let local owners Tim and Lisa, along with their friendly staff, welcome you to this iconic cafe in beautiful Encounter Bay. You can choose to dine in or enjoy our fresco dining with world-class ocean views, as well as a large takeaway menu. We cater for group bookings and provide regular live entertainment. Relax on our comfortable leather lounges and marvel at the impressive collection of auto memorabilia. Pa's Famous Fish Cafe, a must-see for locals and visitors alike. 61 Franklin Parade in Counter Bay. For bookings, phone 08 1055. 
At North Point Flurio, we're committed to creating memorable experiences for our guests, which is why you'll now find Victor Harbour Toyota, Victor Harbour Mitsubishi and Victor Harbour Hyundai at one convenient location, Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour. Whether you're looking for a new Mitsubishi, new Toyota or new Hyundai or need your vehicle serviced, we're committed to helping make your experience feel a little easier, creating memorable experiences. It's North Point Flurio's way. Visit us at Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour or northpointflurio.com.au. Well, welcome back uh, with our happy online TV. Uh, we've got to, uh, Richard Littley to talk a little bit about football. Before we go on too much about football, Dick, the question that some of the people keep asking me from your club, is there anything you can't do down there? <laughs> oh, lots of things I can't do now. I can't play anymore. Well, well, but no, I've been there a long time, that's mm. all. And I mean, over the, over the period of time, you, you get lots of different jobs and so... Uh, I've enjoyed being involved. I, I, I've enjoyed every sort of role I've had, but I would don't want to go back to being the president again or oh, being on the come committee. On. No, no, I've done done that. I just quite happy to not make a de any decisions. Just do what I'm told. When did you start playing? Oh well, that's a bit of a hard one because I, well, I can't start, remember. Or? Yeah, I can remember, <laughs> but I started playing in uh, probably the first game I ever played officially was nine in probably 1961, maybe 1960. Uh, before that, there was no real competition mm. in, in, the, in the... Well, there was no junior footy for a start. So mm. when uh, when I wanted to play footy, it had to be B grade or A grade or whatever. And so, you know, when I was 17, I was sort of trying to get a game and uh, mainly it was in, in the Bs and, you know, you get a game here and a game mm. there and, and gradually, you know, as you improve, you, you get more. So, but as you've gone along the way, I mean, when did you stop playing in the... 80s or I 90s? Stopped, I played in 1981. 1981. I did retire a couple of times mm. prior to that. but uh, You just yeah, like retirement I, presents. Yeah, they gave you? me a present. <laughs> retirement only lasted for probably a few weeks. Yeah. And uh, I did play in 81 and we got through to a preliminary final, I think. in, in the B, It was in the B grade then. I dropped back from A grade. And... Um, um, at the end of 81, I, I really did retire and I took on the president's job, so it would have been a bit difficult to do both things, I suppose. But you've got a lot of records, haven't you? I mean, at one stage, you'd play the most games of football that anyone in the club. Oh, for a while, and yeah. then that was... That, but records are there to be beaten and... Well, they are, but I mean, Philip they're not Harding, easy ones to beat. No, Philip Harding uh, passed me, um, and then only last year, or no, a couple of years ago, sorry, my son past him and Craig's still playing and he's played over 400 games now yeah. so it'll be a while before anybody beats that. But you could have probably played a lot more because in the days when you were playing there was only 14 or 15 games in the minor round wasn't it? Yeah for a long time there was, there was only a five team competition yeah. there for a while and so we didn't play that many games uh, in a year. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, no yeah, final but, fives or anything in those No there's a the final, final four, four and you know most of the time, uh, so, and I say most, by the time we did make the finals uh, in that period of 20 years that I played, but there were years we didn't, and you'd only play about you know, 14, 15 games or something, and if you had an injury or two, some you might even only play 12 games for the year. So it, ta it takes a while to get the numbers up. Did you play any games on the Back Valley Oval? No. You didn't? No, that, that was the Valleys. Um, now, I remember football being played there, but uh, no, I was too young. I was only uh, a little kid when... Uh, when footy was played there, the first game of footy I ever saw was on the mm. Valley Oval. I wondered what the hell they were doing, you know, running around, jumping on one another and, yeah, pretty stupid game, I thought. Well, it was, yeah. I mean, because Encounter Bay now is a mixture of those two clubs, isn't it? The That's Valleys correct, and, yeah. The, yeah. and the Encounter Bay. Yeah, the, the history goes that uh, after the war, uh, both, uh, well, there were too many young uh, people around and... Uh, uh, for the one club, sort of for Encounter Bay, and I think Victors were the same. They had a few numbers extra, so they decided, in their wisdom, uh, to start another club, which was uh, called the Valleys, and it was played on the over there at the Back Valley uh, corner, and uh, that um, lasted for a few years, and then numbers sort of dropped off again, and uh, everybody was struggling. Or well, Encounter Bay and the Valleys were struggling for numbers a bit, so they they joined forces and uh, took on the blue and gold of the valleys, because in Canterbury were red and white, uh, because the valleys jumpers were newer than the red and white jumpers that uh, in Canterbury had, so they, they took on, on the uh, blue and gold. <coughs> 
Mm, all right, so you've been on the committee now for many, many years? Yeah, since about 1964, uh, but I'm not on it now. I got off, <coughs> excuse me, I got off uh, a couple of years ago, and I did have the odd um, year off in, in that 50 odd years, yeah. Now you tell me you've got a record of attending AGMs, is that right? Yes, well, I suppose. I think mm-hmm. I've only missed How many have you missed? Uh, I've missed two. You've missed two since when? Since 1964. Two since 1964? We were on holidays in New Zealand for one of them. And the other one, I I forget, it was when I was courting Shirley and I went to Adelaide for the Friday night and missed missed the uh, the, uh, the the AGM, yeah, Yeah. that was Thursday night. (coughs) So Shirley took over for the... um, yeah, well, I put romance you in put front romance of football, in front of, for, the, for one to for one, one only time. Yeah. It's probably the only time, mm. isn't it? Yeah, probably about the only time, yeah. Now, premierships. How many premierships have you been involved uh, in? I've only played in two. Uh, <coughs> played in two A-grade ones and played in two losing ones. So that, that was all in the 60s. And I've been involved when I was president and committee person in quite a few others, or a few others, um, 1989, which was a, a big year, we won the A's and the B's, and uh, then 96, um, and uh, then 2013, 2015. So I was involved in some way, either as president of the club at the time or, or on the committee and whatever. What, and what, we did lose a few in that time as well. What, what's the bigger thrill, as a player winning or as, oh. a, as an official? No, I don't think you can beat being a beat player. Being no, there. I don't think you can beat being a player. Uh, but... Uh, the 2013 one when I was president of the club was satisfying uh, and it was my last year as president of the club and uh, I thought I went in on, on, on a win sort of thing. Yeah, Even though I didn't have much to do with it, I mean, it was just there. Yeah, but you've had three goes as being president. Yeah. What's the total uh, the number four, of years? Four, 14. 14 years. Yeah. Yeah. Has anyone done longer than that at the club? Uh, no, not at Encounter Bay. Mm. I mean, other clubs... Are, Langhorns Creek had one that went for about 40 years, 40, I think. 45 yeah, I years. Know, but, Murray and, Johnson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I don't think any other club in, in the Great Southern, apart from Langhorns Creek, has probably had anybody that's uh, done that. But it sort of was a bit accidental. I mean, I didn't, didn't uh, plan to do it. It just sort of happened. Well, besides football, the yeah. other one's tennis that you play. Mm. Still playing tennis? Still playing tennis, yeah, but not, not that well. You know. But still playing, yeah, I've played tennis all my life and uh, I think, you know, even though I'm getting older and slower and fatter and everything else, it's still uh, it's still good fun and we, we play, I play at Back Valley, where you play, Kevin, or used to play. Used to play, yeah. And uh, it's a social thing for me now. I don't play competition, but just play nearly every Friday uh, if I'm not too busy and... Uh, yeah, so that's a bit of fun. And you've got a lot of others in your family also involved with the football and the tennis, aren't they? Yeah, we've got eight grandsons, but they don't all play footy. Uh, some of them do, most of them do, I suppose, and, and most of them play tennis. Or I think all, all of them, except the little one who's four years old, they all have a crack at tennis um, with varying degrees of, uh, you know... Success. Success, yeah. Mm. yeah. So over the years, you've played in a few premiership sides too. Yeah, I never played in a Division One Premiership uh, side. I played in a couple of losing ones, losing grand finals, but um, played in quite a few other grand finals or premierships in, in other grades. I can't remember how many. And just sort of, as the years go past. Yeah, yeah, sort of. <laughs> just yeah, happens, I, I can't it? remember. Yeah. We played in, as you will well know, because you were in the same team, played in uh, a few premierships in the doubles competition mm. uh, and a few in Division 2 and well, as I got older, Division 3 or whatever. We had a bit of fun, didn't we, when Lytton and Kim Hodgman yeah, both well, playing for us. you're dropping names. Kim <laughs> yeah. Hodgman, the McGarry medalist. The McGarry yes, medalist. Played tennis. The dual McGarry medalist, yeah, he yeah, says. Yeah, played uh, tennis for Back Valley, and so mm. that's quite... Uh, and we played with him, yeah. Mm. Well, it's good to see yeah. you. you're still involved anyway and your family's still involved. Um, Shirley's still out yeah, there playing well, tennis Yeah, as well. she's still playing mm. tennis in the social uh, mm. side and occasional competition mm. games she's played in last year. <coughs> so <coughs> so it's, oh, it's, it's, it's good uh, family thing. I mean, my oldest daughter Tanya comes down every week in tennis season from Wistow to play and she's done that for... Well, she's uh, late forties now. She's done all her, mm. all her married life anyway, yeah. and, and played before that. So, she she must think the club's got something. Yeah, to come from Wistos. Mm, yeah. That's the club is not that far. It's, oh, it's not that far. No, no it's a but, reasonable distance to go. Yeah. Anyway, well, it's good to see that you're still around. You're still involved with the football, obviously. Yep. Um, 
timekeeping, <coughs> goal umpiring. Yeah. Is there anything that you, you haven't done? Well, the goal, trainer, umpiring, the, trainer. the goal umpiring, I think they want to sack me because I've <laughs> made a few mistakes against them. Oh, I think Stroud the Alvin would yeah. like to have you there. Yeah, they would, yeah. I helped them out and I helped Malunga out. Mm -hmm. And uh, Langlands Creek as well. So it's three mm -hmm. or four clubs I've really helped. So uh, our players sort of tend to think I, uh, I should give it away. And I said I would, but nobody else wants to do it. So we'll see what happens. Well, anyway, it's good to see you're still healthy, mm -hmm. running around, enjoying yeah. your tennis and enjoying your football. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks Kevin. Well done and okay. let's hope you can keep it up for a few more years. I'll try, yeah, another 10 or 15 years I suppose, yeah, till I'm about 90, yeah. Okay, thanks Th Kevin. Thanks yeah. for being with us today. Pa's famous fish cafe is renowned for their delicious fish plates, seafood platters and tasty hamburgers. Let local owners Tim and Lisa along with their friendly staff welcome you to this iconic cafe in beautiful Encounter Bay. You can choose to dine in or enjoy our fresco dining with world class ocean views as well as a large takeaway menu. We cater for group bookings and provide regular live entertainment. Relax on our comfortable leather lounges and marvel at the impressive collection of auto memorabilia. Pa's Famous Fish Cafe, a must see for locals and visitors alike. 61 Franklin Parade in Counter Bay. For bookings, phone 08 Before you take off on your next trip, don't pay for taxis or for expensive parking stations. Enjoy the convenience of airport security parking. Simply drive to us. We'll then whisk you and your luggage to the terminal door in just minutes. While you're away, we'll keep your car safe and secure. Then pick you up from the airport when you return. At a very small daily rate, it'll change the way you travel forever. Airport Security Parking. Book online at asparking.com.au. Harbour, 14 goals, 5, Gore, Port Elliot, 4 goals, 2. And a good cruncher down there, and we mentioned this this morning, Yankee Lilla grow that extra leg, don't they, when they're playing at home and they're playing Langon Creek, the big drive for Langon Creek over to, Langon, over to Victor, uh, Yankee Lilla. Yankee Lilla, 8 goals, 6, Langon Creek, 7 goals, 4. And Cookie, you'd probably listen to all that one, you go, oh, the Creek left to stir them up, mate. Yeah. Maybe you're feeling, feeling a little bit better in there. In the Hospitality and at Strathair, and sorry, at Maponga, Strathair, seven goals, five to Maponga Selix, five goals, one. And they've just started the. And we're up, up and away. Third quarter is underway. A free kick picked out immediately, and the Bays will get the free kick. Out of the centre it goes, down to the centre forward area. Oh, well, oh, well done out there by Alexopoulos. Kick goes back down there by Tyson Neal, or Hoffman. No, Tyson Hoffman, I mean. Has Whoa, it's gone. that's a throw out there, holding the ball, throw, whatever you want. And in Counter Bay, I'll be into attack. They are, ball comes in out here to Carpenty. Carpenty can't pick it up. Pushed it further out down there. It's hard to see there's that many players in the way free out kick. there. And the free kick will come back in to Trigenza. So Trent Trigenza's got the kick. Runs around on the spot, kicks it further down the ground, way over the heads of the opponents and his teammates out there. And there's a, it's not very often you see someone airball the ball as they're about to fall over, but he did. And on the ground now, it should be picked up this time by Encounter Bay out there. Again, the umpire says he threw it. Dude, they're picking out some tough ones tricky in free kicks, mm, isn't it? Mm. And now Walunga with the ball. They'll kick it right down into the goal square and... I don't know what he's done here. I think he's played another one, has he? Yep. There's another. It's a 50 this time, being paid to Wollonga. And they won't miss this one. Well, Mr Hunt has got the footy. No, I wouldn't say won't. <laughs> uh, well, he missed it from the goal square last time. And, and he missed one across the face of goals before. <laughs> he's a bit further out this time. And, oh, he has. Who's that? That's... Derek. Might have shaved it, he has. Yeah, just as well it was Derek docking down there, because I don't reckon Lou would have got near the post in that time, would he? Yes. It's five goals, uh, 51 points, Wollonga, eight goals, three. Now they're leading in Counter Bay. Seven.
Welcome to Happy Rugs. Happy Rugs stock a wide range of rugs to suit all rooms, budgets and needs. From lounge room and kids room to kitchen, living and dining room. Unique to Happy Rugs is our free sleepover service where you can try out your selected rug at your home or business before purchasing it. We offer great prices, a huge range and excellent customer service. Happy Rug owners buy their rugs from Happy Rugs. 24 Ocean Street, Victor Harbour. Phone 08 Inside 50, they float the 40 players, go high up, one hand to it, didn't bring the mark down, players over it and counter bay, get it out through to West, West now down the line, good one, good Bulldog, mark taken out there to Baldock, Baldock plays on quickly, it's going to go backwards straight down the throat of Haskett, Haskett now wheels it around towards the coach's box, his teammate big fella out there in Bass, Bass just in front of the interchange race, taking his time, waiting to set up a player. Goes to the big sure, long pump, big pumps it up, high up, up in the air again, off a series of hands. Tonkin underneath the football, wheels the football back out, I think it was to Barrett. Goes up high again, can't get it, Wollonga, good tackle, couldn't get him in time. Went around by Hoffman, Hoffman gets it around his body, inside, What's tap good on, push good out. push out it is for Wollonga. Goes to encounter Bay, they're working overtime, they can squeeze it out and they jam it on the boot and clear it. Up high they go again. Oh, Wollonga all underneath it. Hoffman again with the footy. Loads it up. Back into the square she goes. Punched off hands. All player there. Just slipped over at the wrong time. He could have come up with the footy. Doesn't do it. Umpires are letting it go on. Oh, plenty of players. Crash tackle going there. How's the ump going to see this one? He says, I'll have the footy. We'll ball up. Just on the point of the square. Players here having a bit of advice to the ump. He flicks it up up in the air again. Tonkin waits underneath the footy, gets a tap down. Still going across the goal face, is it? No, Boundary up has got it. Come off hands and out of bounds right alongside the point post. So I'll under into, uh, into a good attack zone here. He's almost thrown that in the goal. He's got it right in. Hunts <laughs> underneath the ruck wet, lays it off down to the ground. Plenty of players underneath it. And Counter Bay clear the footy, come out towards scoreboard side wing. No one's got underneath it yet. Picked up now by Wollonga from the back. They go around the back door. Ooh, good hands, sticky fingers, Sam Alex <laughs> of Palis. Playing a good game of footy today. Sam Alex of Palis gets it down to his, back to his teammate and Hutchins. Hutchins now loads on quickly. Oh, it's not a really good weighted kick in there. Canterbury have got it. They can clear it through the middle to Illingworth. He's got the footy, plays on quickly. Hits the ground, got the pace, runs away from Wollonga. Gets his toe poke out wide. Good kick. Good kick it is, up to the teammate, they scream for the footy across the face, the ground they go, it's a big high kick and a chance for Wollonga play to get underneath, he's been paid the mark and he's paid the consequences, he's come down pretty hard on top of that cricket pitch. Well, you think they'd be a bit softer now, but I reckon it'd probably be harder. <laughs> yeah, Wollonga, mm. playing on quickly, so oh, well done, Sam Alexopoulos was the target again but he got crunched as he came up with the footy, Canterbury's handball out wide was too wide. And they get out of trouble from this one. Go to the bottom of the pack. It's trapped under a heap of players. Umpire will come in and ball up. Centre wing club room sides. The ball up will happen. Is he unearths the footy from underneath all the players? Now we'll get the footy back. Flicker up, up in the air again. Up high they go. Well, I'm going to get the tap down. Tap down they do through to Beath. Beath puts it up into an open pocket. Gives a chance here for Stanfield to run onto the footy. Gets it. Loads it up on the boot. Top of the square he's heading for. Target. Counter bay out in front. Done the shimmy. Balk around. Quick handballs was good for the bays. They clear the football out wide. Out to centre half back now. Well, I'm going to get it. There's a bit of a spread in there. Shepard off the footy. And in Counter bay will come up with the free kick. Play on quickly. Inbound to Barrett in the centre of the ground. Barrett for the bait. Is he going to go? Another short pass again. Does comes up okay, and it's gone down through to Baldock. Baldock plays on quickly. Target out wide. There's too many big fellas out there for Wollonga. They control the football. Do it well. Haskett goes out wide to Sam Alexopoulos, getting plenty of touches. And this, the third term, comes out wide. 
It goes now to Collier. Collier uses his full run, chips a little one out towards the skipper and Beath's in the side vision. Beath has to work overtime, gets the footy up to Hoffman. Good hands, good work. Hoffman clears the football in line. Good punch away it is by West. I think it was for the encounter bay. Chance Ooh, here for Tonkin. It? Tonkin back to West. Back it goes to Tonkin again. He has to work overtime. He's going to have some heat put on him. Clears the football and they clear it okay through the base and they go out wide to Bradford. Bradford goes short up to Illingworth. Illingworth can use his pace, runs his full 15 Whoa. or intercepted by Collier. Good work. Kept his eyes on the footy. Well done by Stanfield. Good rake and handball. Comes back out wide. Oh, intercepting pass. Bullet-like and beautiful pass forward it is to Wollonga. And Wollonga will have a shot on goals about 34 metres out. And that is Cameron Hutchins. With the well, that was there. a good block, wasn't it? And that, was. That'll probably cause a goal. It was a great block. Mm. What about Collier? Just kept his eyes on the footy. Hutchins, shot on goal, be running right away from us. We'll see the footy clean leave his boot here. I'll leave it to the old goal umpire in your nifty. Yeah, Hutchins oh, on his way. And kick it's going a little bit. I think he's gone off target. He's gone for the pacemaker. Derek, he has. It's only a minor score to Wollonga Kev. Eight goals, four Wollonga to Canterbury. Seven, five on our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Four po uh, five points the difference. Ball gets brought back in again. It was a little bit dangerous there, but the ball has been marked by Encounter Bay. It's not far out from goal either. It had to be a real good kick for it. It was, and the player breaks away from the mark, and the ball's pushed across the boundary line and out of bounds. And a free kick. Is it? It'll be a free kick, and the free kick will be for Encounter Bay. Chopping be. over the shoulder, chopping the footy off the hands. And the ball's gone over to Thank you, Christmas. Steve, for that replay. And the... And, well, there was a, a, looks like it was a free kick given to um, Malunga there for the ball going out of bounds. 50 metres. And there's a 50 metre with it as well. And so, Billy, uh, Billy Cook's a recipient of it. Mm, so this could end up a, a goal this time, you would think, because he is not that far out from goal, and that is Cook. He's a right footer. And that is a goal handed to him down there then, and it is nine goals. Nine goals, four to Wollonga, seven goals, five in Counter Bay on our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Two goals to be... Happy Online TV is here, and you can watch it whenever and wherever you like, on your PC, mobile phone, laptop or iPad. Two hours of local news, sport, entertainment, interviews and much more. Updated every Friday at 12 noon. Simply log on to radio901.com.au and click on the Happy Online TV button and enjoy Happy Online TV. Billy Cook, easy and striking distance. Ball back in the centre again. Up by they go. Bass waited on the footy. It sort of waited his way till oh, Beasy ducks his head, gets the handball away and gets dumped. Mm -hmm. Hoffman in there. Too much work for the footy holding the ball. Play on advantage given. There's no advantage really in there, umpire. And young fella tried to bustle and hustle through there. And couldn't get it through. Jake Crispin, head down, bum up, umpire with a footy on the edge of the cricket pitch again. Tonkin gets a tap out over to Haskett. Haskett gets his big mitts around the footy, does his body well, gets a kick away, a bouncy old ball. Can't see for Illingworth. Illingworth's got Whoa. hands. Illingworth has run over. Illingworth still gets the handball away in time. And this one might be, that'll be a good tackle and down and the stoppage will come up, come up in play there for the umpire. Another ball up. Centre half four position there for Wollonga. Up on the go, Tonkin up. Bass might have got a bit of a fingertip on it as it's gone down just a pack of players. Plenty of them around the footy. Umpire will ball up once again. Yeah, it's dark old conditions, but uh, it's not too bad for footy. Quite pleasant out there. Bass gets up. Big roundhouse out wide, but Encounter Bay are up underneath it. Good clearing kick away. It is there by Bones. Bonus. Bonus kick. Oh, bouncy ball didn't quite meet his target, but the pace is coming for Encounter Bay. Bobby Gasket gets in the way, taps it up to himself, gets his handballs away. Out it goes to Sam Alex Apollos, and Daisy Cutter's good. Down low, good projector, good mark there taken. Wollonga now from the interchange race, can kick the football in, and the big fella down there in, I reckon that is Jakey Stanfield's got all of the footy too far out to school, but he goes the long bomb in again, punched away it is by Encounter Bay to the boundary line. Nope, and oh no, the umpire's coming back. Free kick punched out over the shoulder, was it? 
Ooh, they're making them, making them earn it. Yep, up over their shoulder. Just watching the old uh, replay here on my little vision here. And uh, Canada Bay boys aren't real uh, happy about that decision. So a shot on goal. It will come for Wollonga. And then they're doing up the old bootlace. Well, Cocky is obviously watching down at the hospital. He'll be pretty pleased about this because Melbourne's beat Northwood. Oh, they were off to a bad start earlier. I did have a look at the scores earlier on. They weren't going so good, but uh, they couldn't they come back? So well, I'm going to kick on its way. The pump fist goes straight up into the air. We'll just wait on to see who that is down up in there. Uh, for Wollonga, but it is a goal on the board to them. I'll just keep an eye on him, Kev, if yeah, you can whip the scores it. out. It's ten goals for Wollonga, seven goals, five in Counter Bay. Big hunt it was. South Coast Realty is an independent, locally owned and operated real estate business, incorporating sales and property management of both permanent and holiday rentals. We are heavily involved in the local community, with offices in Goolwa, Normanville, Mount Compass and Victor Harbour. Our professional and friendly staff can assist you with all your real estate needs. And with well over 5,000 registered buyers on our database, all wanting to purchase properties on the South Coast, we really do stand out from the crowd. South Coast Realty, local real estate specialists with the big advantage. Give us a call today. Kenny! And that is Kenny Arbany. And Kenny doesn't miss too many goals from around about where he is. Probably about 35, 40 out. Umpires put the man on the mark back a little bit further. Kenny goes back behind his mark. He's not the longest kick in the no, world, but not bad from there. Your body always gets a few goals, doesn't he? And we could uh, free side. He could go with a few more. Started yeah, off, started off in the back pocket. He hasn't. Had two, he's got one goal in the second quarter today, and he's taken a long time about this one. He knows how important this is. This kick. It is very important. He gets this one through, but it seems to be the scoring in the other end. And there's a kick there. A floater. He's going to be lucky to get a point. It is one minor score only. Seven six in Counter Bay. Ten four Wollonga. And they play on quickly, Wollonga. Get the ball out, wide out on the club room side wing, load it up, down in front of the barbecue shed. Big mark taken out there by Stanfield, I think it was out, out there. Tackle goes off, players spun out, out of bounds, and the boundary umpire Touched. coming to play. Mm. Boundary umpire right in front of the entrance. There hasn't been a free club kick rooms. page yet for a <laughs> ball that's gone out of bounds and no. hasn't been touched. There's only one, and that was a kick that went out into the cars. Pass stays in front. Just tonking around the back of the pack again. Plenty of players over the footy, wrestling into the ground. Umpire says no, nothing's happening in there. I'll come in and ball it up. Beep. There goes some got more scores coming through early. Somebody, <laughs> no, somebody, somebody, somebody must have started. I can't tell you what he said. He, yeah, oh, yeah, I will tell you. He said, you bloody beauty. Go <laughs> the mighty D's. <laughs> <laughs> well, gets tapped down. You don't know which we watch it on his game. It goes to Tonkin. Tonkin now gets one. An aerial ball up in the air. Who's underneath it? Kenny back of the pack. Tucks it under a wing. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity can come through. Ellingworth comes through. Overruns the football. Can't get it. Still keeping it in the ground. Umpires are letting it go on. Squeeze the footy out there. Play on's the call from the umpires. Out it comes. Back door. Kick on its way it's through to an to open game with a bounce through <laughs> up and over the shoulder. Touched. And touched right on the line. Number 14 it was kicking that one through uh, Fraser Tonkin. This is Big Louie and the ball's been brought back in now Spot. by Wollonga from Collier. It's not the party, Big Louie. Yeah. Collier now, they will kick this over near right in front of us. No, the player there couldn't mark it, pushes it across the line, and that will result in a throw in. The player that went for the ball then was number 35 in Lachlan Scott. Right in front of us, boundary umpire comes in, throws the ball in. Tonkins in front, the other ruckman behind there, the big fella there in the bass. Hand pass goes over the top, it's gone over here to Illingworth. Illingworth gets it Better. quickly back there to Better. Barrett. Barrett gets over the top now to Fraser Tonkin, and Tonkin down into the forward line it goes. Oh, There's a mark being taken by the man in front. Good and work. in counter boat. Yeah, it's and, Bulldog. And Bulldog now has got a chance to put a goal on the board, and the, the umpire says, oh, I'll go and get it. He's you taking a couple, of, just couple, stay of good, where you are. couple of good marks now. He started off a little bit. You couldn't hit the hands properly, but uh, he's kicking towards the goals down the netball court. In 
Well, this is a nifty house end, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick it up to my grandstand, you'll be right. <laughs> and in comes Bulldog now. Try and put through in counter bay, he's eighth goal. Comes in oh. and he's had a shot there and it's going to fall short. Build it through for a minor score only, so in counter bay go to seven goals, eight. Wollonga, ten goals, four. Couple on the scoreboard, but the wrong side the post. Sam Alexopoulos, plenty of room to move and clear the football and clear it he does. Not so good though, he's kicked it straight down the throat of an on-runner in Canter Bay. Play on quickly, switch up, play kick in there to Barrett and Barrett for in Canter Bay. And it's not a bad kick and should have the distance on this one. Short pass is not going to be on for Barrett. I'm just trying to pick up, I haven't spotted Tyson. Oh yes I have, Tyson's hovering down in the pocket. I thought he was missing there for a while. Barrett's kick on its way. Drop punt, looking good. Big Louis underneath it. Has Louis seen it? The pacemaker again. Another point to Encounter Bay. Seven goals, nine to Encounter Bay. Ten goals for Wollonga. Sam Alexopoulos will bring the ball back in. He decides he just head off, head off towards the club room side. He goes. They fly high for it. Goes over the top of the pack. No one touched down this. Down there, I reckon they might have just snuck no, their finger. No, I don't think anybody touched they? it. No, I think the umpire has seen it that way too, and yep. they're going to pay a free kick it is. to come back in with it. Yeah, it went a long way then, didn't it? I think Jakey Stanfield in. reckons he touched yes. it. <laughs> yeah, well, he could have been right too. Mm. Anyway, don't have to worry about it because there goes Bass. It's a big bloke, isn't he, Bass? He's a huge he is man. A very, he was on Port's list a few yeah, years yeah, ago, yeah. and anyway, now he comes in. He's on Wollonga's list for a long time, but Port's didn't let him go. Quick kick out of the pack down there by Encounter Bay. Over the lot it's gone and Bass comes in, picks it up again, gets a hand pass across to his teammate and over it goes. And there's a good mark by Wollonga in front. And Wollonga now with the ball, kicks it back in, finds Haskett. Haskett doesn't know whether to kick it or handball it and he just decides he'll just run off and take a bit of stopping to bring him back to square one, wouldn't it? And uh, the ball now is over in front of the... Coach's box over there for Encounter Bay and Wollonga have got it right into their forward line out there. Over the top of the pack goes. They better make sure they oh. grab this, otherwise it'll be a goal. Play on goals the umpire and the umpire will come in and <laughs> bounce it. He stopped it just as Scotty Hunt come out with the football yeah. wrapped around his arms <laughs> <laughs> and licking his lips yeah, heading for yeah, goal. about five metres from goal. <laughs> <laughs> Although that still wouldn't be a taken. No, nah, not for Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the throws the ball up. Yeah, it goes over there again. That might have been Crispin that was slowed down a bit, picked up by oh. Wollonga, and uh, you no, know, he didn't get a free out of that. But <laughs> ball goes down the ground. Here's a chance for Crispin. Goes over his head. Beautiful bounce. Picked it up, and down the ground they go with it. Where will this one go? Over the lot, and well done down there by Nick Marshall. Will they keep it in? They don't worry about keeping it in, and the ball will be thrown in. We're at the 20 minute mark of this third term. Boundary umpire's got hold of it. Right in front of the cameraman. In it goes. A little bit flat down there. Goes over the top. Oh, Crispin did he? No, play Play, on, he played the for it. Umpire didn't see it. <laughs> anyway, down the ground and Counter Bay go with it. Off hands it goes. Here's a chance out there for Kenny. Kenny's picked it up. Turns around. Has, puts it up in the air anyway. This could bring a bit of rain. And the ring goes. Nick Marshall, he can't do anything with it. Picked up out here by Bulldock. And, uh, well, no, no, that's, no, that's been, netball going must on. Must have been a netball going on. I think everyone else stopped too. Crispin's got hold of it, gets a hand pass away. And there's a, another kick way up in the air, and that's Barrett. Oh, Off good hand punch. It goes. Here's a chance for Nick Marshall. If he can pick it up, he picks it up. Go for home, Nick. Goes for home, kicks it in. The back of the packet goes, goes out in the Tyson Neal direction and is pushed across the boundary line and out of bounds. So, Counter Bay have had a few chances here this quarter, haven't they? Can't put them through the big ones, though. Absolutely yeah, can't indeed. He boundary umpire with the 40 throw back in. Counter Bay need a goal here. We're getting close into uh, three-quarter time. 21 minutes gone, and they go again. That's a bit of a few hands to the football again. Cape Bay's got the footy. Can they get a kick away? That's Marshall in there again. Now comes up with Crispin. Crispin's tackle but gets rid of the footy in the nick of time. 
Picked up it is by Hoffman. Hoffman clears the football out wide. Canterbury two on one out there and they win the race. But oh, the handball was a bit of a oopsie doozy. Going back to Wollonga. Wollonga need to clear it up. Oh, well done. Well, Canterbury, they clear the footy again. A long kick, a one on one situation. Bulldog can't get his finger bits to it again. Wollonga have numbers. They clear the football. A bouncy, a loose one. Here comes Tyson. Neil overruns the footy. Just couldn't get to it in time. And the band round pile will come into place from once we started a minute ago and throw it in. So Canterbury need to trap it inside their 50. Need a goal here. Score it ends um, the other end, didn't it? It seems to be, yeah. yeah. Band round pile with the footy. Long throw in again. Bass had it easy his own way. That one lays it off to his teammate down there in Haskett. Haskett clears the football. Oh, he went up oh, there a little, early. Little, about an hour and a half <laughs> earlier, and he's been pinged for it. And I reckon that might have been Beathy going up a little bit early on that one. The skipper yeah, no it was. Open market. No, it was a little bit earlier. Just watching that one on the replay. And yeah, Beathy was about two and a half minutes too early. <laughs> Canterbury with the kick clearing in. Where are we going? It's all red and white. Goons, he's underneath that forward with the full ball. Comes back. Wollonga. Wollonga goes straight down the guts. Good mark, taken back out wide out there, and it's Beath, he's making up for his redemption. He's been given 50 metres. Don't know why, but 50 metres have been given over the shoulder after he marked. I don't know, so well, that's not worth 50, is it? Well, you wouldn't have thought One so. Didn't, the... didn't deck him or anything. It's, yeah, well, 50 metres here, or is it just for This could be another goal that's been well, handed to them. Skipper to Beath, he, he, uh, he knows how important this is. He, was a, he wasn't really on target on Anzac Day. Especially in that first term. So, Beathy, if you had a bit of goal kicking practice in the few days that you've had off, in he comes, the skipper. Needs it. Puts it on the board. Oh, Willie, Willie, Willie. The enough. boys are clapping their hands. Waiting the goal umpire. All clear for Sean Beathy, the skipper, Wollonga. They get goal number 11 on the board. 11 goals for Wollonga. 7 goals, 9 in Canabana. North Point, Flurio scoreboard. And score Hi, I'm Jamie, manager at Telstra Store Victor Harbour. If you need help with anything tech related, we're here to help. If you're having problems with your phone or internet, we can give you a bit more help than just telling you to turn it off and on again. And if you need a new phone or entertainment bundle, we can show you some options. And this is what we have. So feel free to pop in for a friendly chat anytime. We look forward to seeing you at Telstra Store Victor Harbour soon. And it goes. Here's a chance for Encounter Bay to get it out. Ball's on the ground though, the umpire will have to come in here. No, he won't have to come in here. He might have to in a minute though. Geez, you give him half an hour to get rid of it. Ball's on the ground and perhaps he's going to do now what he should have done a while ago and throw the ball up. A lot of players are around the ball again. Only three goals this term, Kev, yeah. so I don't think this one's no, going to go, go 26 minutes. too long, minutes. you wouldn't think. There's a quick push out. There's a, oh, a player there was Barrett, good. Barrett, free kick. And the free kick will go to Encounter Bay. Got the ball in the centre. Oh, we no, don't want to give it to Barrett. Gave it to the wrong, wrong player. There goes the honker. Siren has sounded. Third term has ended. And Wollonga, the winning recipients over that one with three goals that term to in Canter Bay with no goals I that think term. they got four goals that quarter, uh, Wollonga. Oh, sorry, you didn't, I didn't write down. Who did not write uh, down? 11 goals, four to Wollonga and Canter Bay, 7-9. And Canter Bay got four points that quarter. So, hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you, you got the goal kickers in there? No, I haven't if I've missed one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like the scoreboard even agrees with us. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm on the It must be 11. I'm on the one three, down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's one missing. So, the goal scorers that we've got. Oh, uh, that was the, yeah, was that the one we did in the first quarter. That was, was Beath, Beath kicked the Oh, last Beathy, one. sorry. Beathy yes, because the surely last one. Beath Heck will be yeah. remember that. The skipper, no one on the board. So there we go. Okay, goal kickers it is. Daniel uh, Bass, the big ruckman there for two goals for Wollonga. Shawnee Beath, the skipper with two goals. Two goals to Scotty Hunt, two goals to Billy Cook, one to Tyson Offman, one to Cameron Hutchins, and one also to Joshua Dawson, who was the first goal of the match in the first quarter. He's been quiet since. Tyson Neal with two goals. Uh, Patrick Barrett with one goal, Carpenter with one goal, Illingworth with one goal, and Tyler Bulldog with one goal for the Bays also. So it's a three-quarter time here. Time for a break for the players out there. Time for a break for us too. Yep, yep. And we have Wollonga, 11 goals, four. That is 70 points, leading in Counter Bay, 7-9, 51. So it's a 
19 point lead there to Wollonga. Scores all there by North Point. Flurio scoreboard. Kenny, pay some bills and we'll see if we can get an exciting last quarter for you. The Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. Our dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, renowned for being the best beer garden on the south coast. There's live music every Friday night, traditional pub style accommodation and we're also a sip and save outlet for all your favourite party needs. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. Welcome to Happy Rugs. Happy Rugs stock a wide range of rugs to suit all rooms, budgets and needs. From lounge room and kids room to kitchen, living and dining room. Unique to Happy Rugs is our free sleepover service where you can try out your selected rug at your home or business before purchasing it. We offer great prices, a huge range and excellent customer service. Happy Rug owners buy their rugs from Happy Rugs. 24 Ocean Street, Victor Harbour. Phone 08 7973. At North Point Flurio, we're committed to creating memorable experiences for our guests, which is why you'll now find Victor Harbour Toyota, Victor Harbour Mitsubishi and Victor Harbour Hyundai at one convenient location, Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour. Whether you're looking for a new Mitsubishi, new Toyota or new Hyundai or need your vehicle serviced, we're committed to helping make your experience feel a little easier, creating memorable experiences. It's North Point Flurio's way. Visit us at Adelaide Road, Victor Harbour or northpointflurio.com.au. Sandra off. We are here at Encanter Bay, taking on Wollonga. Up by they go. Bass, as we talked about, got the 40. Illingworth, I talked about. Get hold of it. Runs around the backwards a bit. 15. Kicks it up and over around this body. The ball bounces high up in the air again. Well done by Baldock. Gets the ball tapped down again. The Bays are looking to run. The Barrett. Ooh, Barrett all stops. Nice. Ducks his head a little bit. Play on the call. Bonus has got the footy. Kicks back over to Illingworth. Illingworth. Hot potato. Gets it back mm. to Barrett. Barrett goes mm. the old don't argue to me, Sam Alex opposed, and gets rid of him. Gets the kick away. A good target on the chest in Canter Bay. That's what they need. Straight down his throat. 20 metres out Nick direct, Marshall. directly in front. Nick Marshall. He's worked hard for the, a good kick and a catch today, Nick. So really, for his confidence, I hope he nails this one. Marshall on his way in. 20 out. Directly in front. Doesn't give the goal umpire too much to run away for. And in Canter Bay, do get that first goal on the board. And they need to keep the boat rolling, Kev. Eight goals, nine in Canter Bay. Eleven goals, four, Wollonga and North Point Flurio scoreboard. Before you take off on your next trip, don't pay for taxis or for expensive parking stations. Enjoy the convenience of airport security parking. Simply drive to us. We'll then whisk you and your luggage to the terminal door in just minutes. While you're away, we'll keep your car safe and secure. Then pick you up from the airport when you return. At a very small daily rate, it'll change the way you travel forever. Airport Security Parking. Book online at asparking.com.au. 
close. Umpire throws a ball up in the centre. Be interesting to see how many our mate Davey's got anyway. Kick. Taken out the centre down there by Beat. <clears throat> down to the half forward line it goes. Umpire lets play go on out there. In go uh, Wellunga again. There's players going in like nine pins down there. And they're going down like nine pins also as the umpire runs in there and says, give it to me and I'll throw it up. Richard Cook, come on boys, we're the hawk scores. We don't give any hawk scores out there. He might make you crook again. <laughs> he might have something else wrong with it if we give out too many hawk scores. Ball now is on the half forward line for Wollonga and the umpire will throw it up once again. So up it goes, pushed down by the bays. Ball's on the ground, taken down there by Wollonga. Kicked it into the centre half forward area down there. Bounces off a player. And it was well blocked off the boot down there by Encounter Bay coming through, and that was Hamish Donkin, number 10, that blocked it out. Back it goes. Oh, good work, good body. Good body work down there, and the ball has gone to Fraser Tonkin. Fraser Tonkin kicks it down out here. He's looking for Kenny, Kenny Carpenter. Look at the run. Look at the ball. dash. He's got the dash now. It goes right in, almost a mark taken by the bays. They got it this time. Can they get it through the big ones? No, they can't out there at the moment. Good defending down there by Wollonga. Sees the ball go from one end to the other. They're standing around, waving their arms down there, and the umpire eventually gets there and decides to throw it up. So the ball will be thrown up only a couple of metres out from Encounter Bay's goal line down there. Up it goes at the back of the pack. It's taken down there by Encounter Bay. They go up high, hits a player on the chest, bounces off. Back it goes for the Bays, and this one will hit the cars on the full, and the ball will be brought back in again by well longer. So the umpire tells him he can play on, he kicks it across goals. Collier. And he's got Collier down there and Collier just puts the ball up high and Tyson down there for them, Hoffman. Tyson Hoffman. He kicks it back again and I think he might have been called out that time. The well the um Gata Bay bloke and Hutchinson's got it. Hutchins. Hutchins kicks it in and it's been marked this time by Joshua Dawson. Dawson's got hold of it for Wollonga. They kick it back down, kicks Good it straight kick. over the top. And oh. Oh, I think he picked that up off the ground, didn't he? Billy Cook, yeah. And <laughs> Cook got hold of that. But Wouldn't have been out at cricket. <laughs> He'd be in and trouble he, at golf. He took a fair divot out the deck. <laughs> he did. And down it goes. And oh, good kick. Here's another good Tyson kick that's again. gone in. And Tyson Hoffman's got hold of it. He he's done well since he's come back from my bonger. He, he has, and I thought last year, I thought he played exceptional last mm. year. And, he, and he, you know, I mean, we're only early in the season. We've seen him at, uh, at the Anzac Day. Couple of okay. good games, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's starting to start to rack them together. And this now. will test him out to see whether he can score from here. He's right back against the fence, puts looks the good, ball up good. high. It's going to go Oof. close down there. He goes just the other side of the post. And that's 11 goals, 5 to Wollonga, 8 goals, 9 in Counter Bay. And the Bays are out and go quickly. They come out to the scoreboard side. Chances mm. here to run backwards. All oh, the old look away handball just worked in time. The wobbly old kick four wasn't a good one. Well trapped by Wollonga. Well done by the Bays. Mm. They fought for the effort for the mistake and forced the, the boundary. And the boundary up by right in front of us here. And the 90.1 commentary box will throw her back in. Big Bass comes in, he just points to the boundary and said, stick it up high in the air, can you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> did you see that? And he, and did. he does, he so stuck it up high in the air. Straight the Rovers. Yeah, straight down the Rovers' <laughs> throat. Well, under or out, through the centre corridor, a floating ball, it's all blue and gold underneath the footy. Yeah, he and threw it up high, all right. We're yeah. straight to the couple of Rovers. Ha Hamish Donkin made it easy. Hamish Donkin goes short. Out to his teammate, teammate out there in Costello, goes towards the barbecue shed, underneath it, good punch down there by Sam Alexopoulos, good handball, handball out up onto the ground, well done Illingworth, uses his pace, his pace oh, is too good, now. oh we're in trouble, yeah. big brat, he's got hold of the footy, he's looking for someone to help him out, Tice Hoffman's underneath it, and Counter Bay are all underneath Hoffman, Hoffman the pushes Hoffman. him away, gets it around on his left boot, just off target, oh Counter Bay player can't mark it. And it's gone off hands and through for a minor score to Wollonga. They go to 11 goals, 6 to 8 goals, 9 in Canterbury on a North Point Fluoro scoreboard. Hoffman beat the three of them down there, the three, three Bay defenders. And the ball has been marked now in the back pocket area. You'd think they'd make more use of that big goal square now, wouldn't you? To get it further down the ground. But anyway, they retain possession of it. Over it goes out there in front of the barbecue store. Kick back into the centre-half forward area. Beaky does the most oh. he can to try and get it. 
picked up this time, throw it over his head down there by the big fella there in Hunt. Over the top it goes, and this, this is going to bring rain. That'll bring snow. It'll bring, <laughs> bring everything. Oh, big Hunty, big Scotty, plays on, <laughs> steps over the shoulder, goal! <laughs> Just as well he did, I think, if he'd have taken a kick from there, he'd have probably missed. <laughs> oh, Kev, don't be so harsh on Scotty. <laughs> well, he's kicked three today. <laughs> three today. See, a 3 2 is my score. 12 goals, 6 to 8 goals, and 9 by Encounter Bay. Happy Online TV is here, and you can watch it whenever and wherever you like on your PC, mobile phone, laptop, or iPad. Two hours of local news, sport, entertainment, interviews, and much more. Updated every Friday at 12 noon. Simply log on to radio901.com.au and click on the Happy Online TV button and enjoy Happy Online TV. <laughs> what a boy better do get on his bike out of that square and he'll be in a little bit of trouble. Umpire's moving in ready to throw it up, throw it up in near the 8 2. Big tap down over the top and he's in counter bait, but up underneath it, it goes Wollonga. Wollonga starting to hit the pep of the step. This man, Tyson Hoffman, getting plenty of use of the footy. To West, he can't hold the mark. The skipper, Beathy underneath oh, it. The oh, old oh. get away from me, yeah. Kenny Carpenter, giving it away, and I think he might have given away a free kick. Goes to West. Westy, short pass over the top, front of the scoreboard. Mark's been taken down there by the base. There's a player there in Sampson. Sampson plays on centre corridor. He goes back straight down the straight there of Bonus. Bonus now, inbound. It's a little bit of short pass. It's well, the this, old torpedo this, off the side of the boot's going to make a murder. Comes out, worked out yeah. okay. Tyson, Neil, kick back into Tonk. Couldn't get hold of him. Wollonga, back, back. They are so miserable. They don't give anything away down there. Wollonga, go up. Take, take the mark. Kenny, Kenny Carpenter <laughs> underneath it. Good old Gazza. Gareth's yeah. got hold of his jumper. Dragged him long like a dog on a chain. Can't get hold of it. Tonk's in there. He can't get hold of the footy. Comes back for Seth and Effort. He gets dispossessed. And plenty of players are up and over the shoulder and way, way too high. And the player there for Encounter Bay, he wants to jump out of the pack and run off and gain himself about 30 metres of Mr Costello. And the umpire says, no, mate, come back, over your mark. Costello plays on quickly, on the right foot. Wants a long jab down the line, close to the boundary line. Two on one, it is Wollonga, but Encounter Bay stay in the front posse. Keep control of the football, or can they? Well done, boy, Wollonga. They get in there, tap around the body again. Hurried one on one on one. Well done, Westy. That's hanging on to one, boy, isn't it? He sees yeah, it my he way, and though, Westy gets the same thing. Poor old beastie, he looks like he's spent out there at the moment. West, oh, goes back, oh, and well done, stolen by Bass, Bass jams it on the boot, and that one's going across the face of goals, giving a chance in Canter Bay, through Hamish Tonkin to pick us, yeah, Hamish Tonkin to pick up the football and clear it, and clear it he does, a long, low up kick out towards the barbecue shed, can't get it, back of the Packers in Canter Bay, handball up over the top, comes off hands out of bounds, the boundary umpire will throw it in, in front of the barbecue shed here in Canter Bay. It is eight goals nine in Counter Bay to twelve well, goals. Cookie six better get longer. another pill from the nurses down there because Yankalilla twelve goals seven, Langwon Creek nine goals six at three quarter time from the throw in now taken down there briefly by Crispin. The ball's on the ground and the umpire will throw it up. What's happened down at McLaren Vale? Uh, they don't want to answer their phone there. down there, do they? So right. Yank three goals out of Langwon Creek. I have to send a text. Straight. Ball, ball thrown down now. Here's a chance for. Counter Bay to get the ball in. The ball has gone very close to the boundary line over there. And in fact, the boundary umpire says it's gone too close. It's gone right across it. So Cookie might need another dose of morphine down there. As the ball now will be thrown in. In it goes. The back of the pack. Chance here for Counter Bay to pick it up. Oh, the player there picked it up. One of these don't argues away. Crispin grabbed hold of it and Crispin just got rid of it in time. Looks like Wollonga will get it out and here's a chance for Encounter Bay though. Ball comes out loose. Can they pick it up? They do pick it up. And away they go. How did he get out of there? Bounces well, the at race. once and once he goes. No he bounced at once in about 30 metres. Better. And the mark's been taken down there by the Bays and that was Reuben Moore, I reckon, that took that one. Down in the forward line and the it mark. goes. And the mark has been taken down there by Encounter Bay. He's well within kicking distance. Didn't see what number he was down there. No, I've turned my telly off to try and find a score out from <laughs> from, from uh, McLaren. It's a, could be something like number 10, could it? It's, 
Gee, he's a long, long way away from us. I'll keep an eye on it, Kev. Anyway, now he comes in to take his kick. And I don't think you have to worry too much about it. It's a minor score only. So in Kiala Bay, you go to eight goals, ten. Trailing Walunga, 12 goals, six on our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Coming up with a 12-minute mark in the last quarter. Walunga, clear the footy, come out towards scoreboard side wing. A long, long kick it is. Go and One hand comes up by Bass, can't bring it down. Westy goes in. Westy's all wrapped up, taken the ground. They're all on top of him. Just add lettuce and tomato and mayo, and you've got a big messy sandwich in there. I'm playing with the footy. Flick it up, just out in front of the scoreboard. Bassy just in everything today, isn't he? Just mountain. Bass gets the football back down, hands up, go up to Billy Cook. He goes up to quick hands to Meagle. Meagle there gets it in. Haskett uses the body well, or can't take the mark. Mm. Hanging on, well done, Tonkin. Oh, goes over, well done to Tonkin. Tonkin over to Westy. Westy now, down the line. The old short pass, bounces up at the ankles, get away with it. West is on the follow through. The one two didn't come off. Wollonga, head down, bum up. They're going over like nine pins, close to the boundary line. Will they get away with it? They do. And Murray kick back down the line again. Oh, and Canter Bay spoil each other, but they get away with it. Okay. Little short pass Bradford. comes up. Good. Mm. It's Bradford. He gets his football down the line to uh, his big Ball, fella there in Bulldog. Bulldog gets the old bouncy ball. Plenty of players on the footy. They're going to the boundary line. They wrestled over the boundary line. the boundary line. The boundary umpire could have that one, and you could have it too, Kev. 12 goals, 6 Wollonga, uh, 8 goals, 10 in Canterbury, and a North Point Flurio scoreboard. Boundary, boundary umpire. Well, in it goes, and there's a good mark being taken down the last line of defence down there by Wollonga. And they've got some loose players out their side if they want to use them, and that's over the clubroom side. Over it goes to another player. And it could go this time, or oh, Counter Bay come through and spoil the party out there. But well, oh, that player there so had the party spoiled. He could have got his head taken off. But anyway, the Bays have still got the ball out there, and the umpire says, "Play on, play on." It goes, and Malunga player there pulled off the ball just as he was about to pick it up. They're running around in circles down there. The moment in Counter Bay, Barrett. and over it goes to Barrett. Barrett's got a teammate running down the ground and uh, he got the hand pass. Might have been a little bit too quick for him. And the ball is right over by the boundary line. That close to the boundary line, the umpire pulls it out of bounds. So it's out of bounds on the clubroom side. And we're over the scoreboard side. Boundary umpire's got hold of it. 14 minute, about the halfway mark of this last quarter. Well, I'm gonna look like they may take the points at the moment. Ball comes out loose. A longer player there throwing on the ground. And the looks like it's almost taken in slow motion over there as the umpire will come in and throw it up. I think he's going to throw it up. Yes, he is going to throw it up over there. And up it goes. Taken down there by Walunga. He's He runs into a brick wall. Back it goes to Encounter Bay. They one step kick and it goes down the line. Off hands it goes. If they're in the back, they're. Person at the back of the pack had a chance then, but oh, the big fella over there is just too good. And that looks like Stanfield, is it? Here's Big Jakey. It's big Jake it is, and it's getting fairly dark oh, good down pass, here. Jake. The bay at the moment. The lights are left to go on. Where's Dick? Come and put the lights on. And the ball now goes almost inside the 50. The back of the pack it goes. Pushed over near the boundary line. The counter bay are in front. They pick it up, gets a hand pass away, but wasn't a good one. A little bit of luck goes back to Crispin, and Crispin gets it over the top down there to Connor McNeil. And umpire saying, play on, play on. And the, I don't know where that player came from. from off the interchange bench. He must have come straight, straight off, off the, the bench, interchange yep. bench. And there's here is a Collier, hand pass well and well blocked down there by Collier. And that really stopped their run down there. And the He just ran too wide off the boundary. And the boundary umpire will throw the ball in once again, Nifty. Yeah, boundary umpire with a footy right in front of the coach's box. Mm. Up over the top. Chance Bass uses his weight. So does Haskett in there. The big timbers are all in there, under in the pack. And we've got a whistle, and it's a free kick the way of the base through Crispin. Crispin needs to play on and play on quickly. They need another goal. They need a goal and a bit of Ari. 
Ball comes back in, a one-on-one -on -one situation. Doesn't work. Cannon Bay still got hold of the football. They got hold of it now. Walunga rake the football out wide. They got a bit of a 15-metre break. Just jam it on the boot. Head it towards the scoreboard. Underneath it, there's Timmy Boyd. He overruns the foot. He can't get it. Well done, the Bay. Oh, he just couldn't get the handball away in the nick of time, but he's got a free kick. <laughs> Big Brad Askett looks around at the umpire and says, what the uh, reckon that was for, up? Huh? So Cannon Bay. Call to play on, play on quickly. They do. They load up. In goes Tyson Neal. He come down with the mark. His umpire's going to pay the mark for hanging on. Locked arms and pulled him down. A little bit of rain starting to fall here, Nifty, on our window. Thanks very much for that. I need that if we're going to pack up the truck. I think yeah. Tyson Neal, we better back him in here for the long shot. Distance shouldn't be a problem for Tyson. It's getting horribly dark and a few little drop droplets of rain. Tyson Neal on his way in. Runs around, uses the arc. The arc is good. The kick is good. It's gone straight through the high diddle diddle. Goal number three, I think that is for Tyson Neal. It is. And goal number nine for Encounter Bay. They go to nine goals, ten. Wollonga, 12 goals, six on our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Before you take off on your next trip, don't pay for taxis or for expensive parking stations. Enjoy the convenience of airport security parking. Simply drive to us. We'll then whisk you and your luggage to the terminal door in just minutes. While you're away, we'll keep your car safe and secure. Then pick you up from the airport when you return. At a very small daily rate, it'll change the way you travel forever. Airport Security Parking. Book online at asparking.com.au Fingers there, didn't really get a good knock with it. Down it goes. Out of the pack it goes. Oh, here's a chance down there for... In Counter Bay, they have, they've got the free kick. And they'll get the ball out of centre. Ellingworth. They're running around in circles with it at the moment. And that's not got a, a whistle for out. running too far, running Ellingworth. Too far. Jeez, that's the old treble, I haven't seen that for a while. Doesn't happen very often, no. does it? Players get away with about 20 metres with no worries. Anyway, back it goes to Haskett. Haskett decides he'll kick it back to his mate, who it was supposed to go to on the mark. And over the 50 it goes. Coming through down oh. there, that was almost a mark taken Tyson down there by Hoffman. Tyson Hoffman. What's going to happen here? Oh, Wollonga got the numbers out here. It doesn't look too good for Encounter Bay. Oh, well done down there. They blocked the ball off the boot. Goes across there to um, Brett Meagle. Meagle's kick now is about centre half forward for Wollonga. Encounter Bay have got the ball out there. Quick kick off the ground and it's gone. <laughs> Wouldn't pay the mark. I thought it might have been in the end. There's hard ball out there now and. Keanu Bay leading the race for the ball, but picked up out there by Wollonga. And that is... Samuel Alex Apollos has kicked there. his own footy out in the full. It's gone out in the full, has <laughs> it? No, it's come off hands right on the line. And the umpire will come in and throw it in. And we're getting a desperate stage now for the Bays. It's 20 minutes into this last quarter. Here's a quick hand pass out. It's gone out here to the advantage of Encounter Bay. And it's hard to see the Encounter Bay players out there because it blends in with the dark, doesn't it? Yeah, that's <laughs> where they want white shorts. It's got dark out of here. Yeah, anyway, it's marked now by Wollonga. They'll kick it back in. The big fellas fly for it out there. Bass tries to bash it forward. The base now will get this one. They'll pick it up. they get away with it. Here's another one. They're running down the ground. Yeah. The, they've got the numbers at the moment, but uh, Wollonga is just getting in the way and stopping it. Crispin out there. He had a chance. Out it comes loose. Now, pick it up now. They do pick it up out there. That was a quick hand pass by the Bays. And I don't know whether that was kick, Jaden Hall or kick not. Kick forward by Marshall, it was. It was Marshall. And picked up now by Wollonga. Samuel. And they'll kick Post. it in. And at the back of the pack is Westy. And Westy just comes in and belts the ball out of bounds. And the boundary umpire will come along and chuck it in. Well, 20... Minutes and 30 seconds gone of this last quarter. Yeah, I think they might be running out of time on the Mickey Mouse stop here. Not a lot of goals scored in this turn. I think we've got control of it. Just a little bit better on the defensive line. 
Been around by with the footy, throws it in again at the back of the pack. Bass takes it. Oh, they got hold of Bass and not letting him get away with it. Plans the call from the umpire who come in and ball up. It was all call and play on, but he had no hope of playing. No hope of getting rid of that footy. No. Not when they're all wrapping him up. Up by they go again. Up by Tonkin goes up. Gets a little fingertip to it. Back door comes out okay. Canterbury get a kick forward. A forward kick bounces in front. Well down. Give hands off. Back to Marshall again. He can't get over it. Well done by Collier. Oh, well intercepted by the Bay. Knock it down, but they knocked it in front of the skipper in Beath. Beathy clears the football out. It's a race. The race is on. Who's going to win it out there? Crispin does. Crispin. He gets to the first of it. Got some second pace. of it. Taps mm. it back to helper. Oh, Tonkin spun off the footy. Play on Zicolo. Inbound. Oh, sticky fingers and a good mark taken down there by the Bays. And I reckon that could be Baldock, the tall timber. Good mark. Under pressure. Well, he wants he to hurry this up a little bit because we're almost into time on. He needs this goal. He needs this goal in a real hurry. I got the first one quickly, but oh, it's been still be eight points in. down even yeah, yeah. if he kicks this one. Kick on its way. And he might have got it too. I think he yeah, looks think okay. He... They're not waiting for the goal umpire. All clear oh, in Counter Bay. So they go to ten goals, ten to Wollonga, twelve goals, six on our North Point Flurio scoreboard. Good. Hi, I'm Jamie, manager at Telstra Store Victor Harbour. If you need help with anything tech related, we're here to help. If you're having problems with your phone or internet, we can give you a bit more help than just telling you to turn it off and on again. And if you need a new phone or entertainment bundle, we can show you some options. And this is what we have. So feel free to pop in for a friendly chat anytime. We look forward to seeing you at Telstra Store Victor Harbour soon. Good push down there by Wollonga. They got the ball goes over the top there to Meagle. Meagle's called play on. It's on the ground. And I think the umpire here will have to come in and toss it up. It'll be tossed up again. The umpire's holding his hand up. What's he holding the hand up for? Can I go to the toilet? No, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> single time on. Decides to throw the ball up again. Up it goes. Counter Bay looked like they were in front for the ball then, but I'd. Way they go, they decide they'll get it through for Wollonga. Over the top it goes, and it's gone out here to Damon Ross. Oh, well, aren't oh, that's a mark. And it's a mark. Shoving the, spoil the, shoving the back, shoving the back wasn't very good. No, but no good asking that stupid question. Oh, oh Hunty asked the dumb question, yeah, yeah. slammed the football back to Bays, and here's the 50 that they might need. 50 metre penalty will take him right up to the centre of the ground. And Hamish Tonkin comes back, loads up the football, inbound, 50. Need a mark, Bulldog, where are you? Not in there. Bottom of the pack, overtime. Wollonga, got numbers around the footy. They're not letting Encounter Bay do the scoring in there. They're just trying to hold it to the ground. Chris been working overtime. They got hold of him. They put him to ground. Umpire can move in and ball up. He will. Just didn't capitalise on that 50 metre, Kev. No. Needed to find a target. Umpire with the footy, up by they go again. Well done by Bass, rakes the football down. Player at the bottom of the pack is Wollonga. He's not going nowhere, apart from doing a bit of mowing with the grass down there. Chewing a bit of grass. Yeah, up. yeah. Umpire with the footy, flicks it up again. Look at this, look a mini gold scrum out there. There's players everywhere around the footy. Back of the pack, Wollonga got hold of the footy. They got hold of him, they wrap him up. Oh, then he attempted he... their umpire. Well, that's getting horribly close to holding it. Ran away with the footy and then tackled. I don't know. Umpire flicks it up in there again. Even ruck contest. No one gets it. But Bass just uses that body and bashing his way through. But they're pushing it towards in Counter Bay goals. There's a flurry of feet, hands kicking. They slam it on the boot. They clear the football. A mark's been taken out there by Illingworth. Illingworth, no, it's been deemed as a push. He goes back and he'll have to give the footy up. Give it up. Or you'll he's get not 50. Happy about it. And he's just. Oh, there goes the siren. So the siren sounded. Sorry, Kev. Ooh, that's true. why he kicked the footy away. So it is the end of the game here, and in Canter Bay, it looked really spent out on the ground. They threw everything they had at it, and they, well, as they know, they're probably looking down the little barrel, bit of a barrel at the moment. I lost last week, I lost today, and they got Compass next week up at mm. Mount Compass. But they love going up there, don't they, Kevin? But anyway, we'll get on to that one through the week. Final scores here, we'll just wait on the goal umpires coming in to wave them off. I think Derek has just given them a quick wave, wave off there. It is Wollonga, 12 goals, 6. Victors at Encounter Bay, over 10 goals, 10 on our North Point Flurio scoreboard, Kev. Mm, it is. Stats and all the garbage well, and all yeah, the things the, we need, mate. The goal, um, goal kickers for Wollonga, we have three to Scott Hunt, 
two to Sean Beef, Billy Cook, and Daniel Bass, and one to Tyson Hoffman, Cameron Hutchins, and Joshua Dawson. I think we might be missing one there somewhere along the line. And there is three goals to Tyson Neal from Encounter Bay, two to Tyler Bulldock, and one to Nick Marshall, Patrick Barrett, Gary Carpenty, Fraser Tonkin, and Tarek Illingworth. All clear by Big Louie, so scoreboard is clear. It is official. 12 goals, 6, Wollonga, 10-10 in Canterbury. You'll kick and Kev, 4 points in the...